I think he's dead if I do this. Aha! No explosions on Cantrip Cascades? That's a shame. I thought that since I was always getting skellies from uh, Death Bolt, I would also always get explosions from that ability, from that skill. Um, that was a great run. I enjoyed that a good amount. Um, a bit tiresome. But now I think I want to switch to a different game. Um, give me a second. Hey, was any of you expecting that? It turns out that I did get uh, the ability to stream this a bit earlier. So here we are. <laughs> and I I was like, hmm, I can start the stream with Rift Wizard 2. But then I decided against it because if I start a normal run, that's like giving you wait time to, so you can tune into the stream and then I can surprise you with this. Uh, so yeah, let's go! <laughs> I'm so excited! Mm, new game! What does this say? Welcome back once again, Grizzard, to the ruins of the universe. Aeons pass while you slumbered, you have slept, walked across many worlds. Weep for Avalon, O oh lonely old wizard. Love and beauty transmuted to chaos and ruin. Your beloved Avalon, and you, her loyal servant as well. Once a great wizard, your memories and magics have faded. Now a thirst for revenge awakens you. The dark wizard Mordred is nearby. Regain your power, slay Mordred's vengeance for Avalon. A bit different from um, the original. Such self-restraint. Yeah, I had it on from the start of the stream. Um, I got the code uh, in the morning. Like I woke up and I saw the code in in like my Discord inbox. Uh, but I didn't want to use it until, or I didn't want to play it until now, so that, like, we could have the experience. Let me switch the category as well. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, this is great. Look at those spawner sprites, yeah. Uh, they look funny, they're not like a square thingy anymore. Now they look uh, kind of like a monster. Hey, look at that! Summon bat, 3 radius, 8 turn cooldown. Look at that, it's an actual monster now! Oh, this is so cool. Uh, the bats are literally the same. I don't think that anything changed when it comes to these guys. I think it's literally the exact same monster. Um, round 1, turn 1. Let's get some spells. Do we have any new spells? Um, I see that we have new things. But I, we also have four pages. Oh, more stuff! Yeah, fourth page was like here. Wow, our lightning is level six. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, how does that? Work? <laughs> I'm so excited. Rift Wizard two is just Rift Wizard one. Summon wizard. Let's see. Summon wizard. Oh, it's eight. Uh, summons a random wizard. You can summon a clay wizard, a ghost wizard, or a wizard gang. <laughs> Shadow wizard money gang. <laughs> we love casting spells. Oh wow, this is great. I'm, I'm having such a blast. Like, this is so cool. Uh, I've not played a single turn and I'm enjoying it so much already. Night hack. Summon a night hack. <laughs> wow. How annoying is that? Do you think it can also kill you the way that night hacks? do in the game nowadays. Um, wow, this is so cool! Uh, what is K? I see K. What is K? What is K? Do you, you, any, any of you guys see, see K here? Chaos is K. Uh, yeah, it's happened. We have it. It's so cool that the music is different as well. Scourge. Target is stunned for 5 turns. Each turn the target and all units within one tile take 5 holy damage. That sounds cool. Man, these spells are so exciting. Gotia offering. Summons a Gotia. And that's it. You only summon a Gotia. Uh, how good is that? Hey, it shows you the stats of the monster. You press uh, page forward, page back. That's so nice. Um, of course they would make it K. Yeah, I saw hate bolts. What does this say? 
fireballs at four random enemies each turn. Each turn can be channeled for five turns, dealing 14 fire and 14 dark damage to all units on the path. Can be channeled for up to five turns. Oh, this sounds so cool. I did remember that this spell was specifically mentioned for levels that are like cramped and small. Oh, look at that. Nightly Oath got, uh, got a nerf. Or, well, got a buff, actually. Um, because now it's uh, level 6. I think it used to be level 7. Um, yeah, and these upgrades are cheaper as well. I wonder if you can do the exact same thing that I like to do with these guys. Uh, then from my mistakes, if you do blood, pay attention to the health costs. HP cost 99! <laughs> wow! What is up with this school? Uh, that is so exciting. I feel like I'm not gonna play a lot of this because I'm not a big fan of uh, accidentally killing myself with my own spells. But maybe at some point... Uh, oh, ward spells. Uh, it's still the same five, right? How is this thing still in the game? <laughs> so, no one tell Dylan to remove this. I'm still gonna use it to duct tape any random garbage run that I want into a win, uh, as long as I can do it. Uh, wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. I think that I'm gonna end stream when I end stream, not now. I think I'm gonna end stream and I'm just gonna actually read through every spell. Uh, something that I've noticed is that I cannot... Um, I cannot scroll to the next page or the or the last page with the wheel mouse uh, or the mouse of the wheel or the other way around the wheel of the mouse. That's what I meant. Uh, what I, what it's doing is that it's recycling through the properties of the spell, like the upgrades. Um, <clears throat> so the way that I uh, understand it, what I heard is that now the spells have less upgrades, but they have more. Um, like, they're more impactful. I think that you can only get one upgrade, too. But I don't know if that uh, is still the case. Hey, look at that, a Flesh Fiend. <laughs> Summons of Fleshy Mass. Fleshy Masses have 431 HP and regen 21 HP per turn. That seems pretty strong. Um, what was the, uh, the, the bear for comparison? Is the bear still in the game? Yeah. It's level 3. So the bear is level 3 and it has 75 HP, it deals 10. Compare that to the fleshy mass. Um, hey, it's the music from the from the first game. Um, oh, but it costs 80 HP! Okay, I'm starting to get... I'm starting to understand blood magic. Blood magic is a lot... Uh, I see, it's a, it's very similar to an idea that I had for crawl that I, that I mentioned. Uh, to the developers and like was completely ignored as is often the case if you don't act also add code to your idea um, when it comes to crawl anyway but like my idea was you add spells that are like super broken but they have some really high like um, high impact cost for example um, spells that cost max HP to cast and like in crawl you cannot really get back more max HP once you've gotten all that there is to get um, so it would actually be a significant cost. Uh, I called it Forbidden Magic. It, it's not quite the same because you do gain back your your HP cost um, when you finish the level, but you can still not spam it uh, because of that HP cost. Any new drakes? Mm, worm X, level 7. Summons 4 Worm X near the caster. Upon that, these eggs hatch into worms. Worms... Uh, um, have 75 HP and regen H per turn, 8 HP per turn. Each worm is either a far or a nice worm, being immune to its own element, but taking 50% extra damage from the other. The worms have melee trample attacks dealing 14 physical damage and their breath, uh, breath attacks that deal 7 damage of the appropriate type. The Asworm breath weapon freezes units in the affected area for 2 turns, and you can give it more summons, more damage, more health, more charges. Mm, it's not looking like you can only get one upgrade, because, yeah, like, if you can only get one upgrade, are you gonna get the charges, or are you gonna get the number of summons, right? So, yeah. Mm, maybe it is that you're gonna get less uh, upgrades uh, instead of uh, only one upgrade. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Fireball used to have a ton of upgrades, and now it only has uh, Chaos Ball, Ash Ball, or Meteor. Units in the center tile take extra physical damage and are stunned for 3 turns. I would be getting that. 
In fact, I'm, I'm gonna start with Farble. Yeah. Farble is um, the spell that carried my first ever run of Rip Wizard. Chaos Magic got a nice boost in the skills department. Let's take a look at that. Um, Armageddon Blade. Grants target ally a melee version of Annihilate. Okay, that's so cool. Gaining any bonuses you have to that spell. Uh, Carnival of Pain. Whenever an enemy takes physical fire lightning damage, the three nearest enemies uh, take that much dark damage. Cool! <laughs> Let's go! That is so exciting. How long does that last for? Yeah, it doesn't say how long it lasts for. Uh, I assume that it's like a buff that you apply to yourself. You heal? Wow, that's really good. If the damage killed um, the, the enemy, the bolt coming out of that enemy deals double damage. Each three kills, every three kills cast, uh, every three kills cast your fiery tormentor spell when the end, where the enemy was slain them enemy was. Sounds pretty exciting. Uh, Aim swarm. Wow, Aim swarm is now level four. Oh no, they got rid of Mega Swarm. That's a shame. Eve, every nine turns, passively summon one imp. Oh. I wonder if that's just like a skill that you get through this spell, or if you need to cast a spell first and then it, every nine turns, passively summon one imp. Copper imps instead of spark imps, and furnace imps instead of fire imps. Rot imps, void imps, insanity imps instead of fire, spark, and iron imps. Um, ah, that's a shame. Where's the Mega Swarm? The Mega Swarm was so good. Because it made the imps pretty tanky, uh, and it made them pretty damaging as well. Mega Annihilate, pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. World of Chaos is literally the same. World of Madness is the same. Yeah, we're playing Rift Wizard 2 now. Uh, I, I was playing Rift Wizard 1, and then I switched um, to Rift Wizard 2, so here we are. So, Chaos. Chaos Familiar. Every five turns someone's a, a Chaos Chimera Familiar if you do not currently have one. This used to be a spell. <laughs> familiar has ranged Fire and Lightning attacks, so splits into Lightning, Snake, and a Fire Lion on death. Yeah, pretty much the same. Far familiar can cast your Fireball, Lightning Bolt, Thunder Strike, Pyrostatic Pearls, Immolate, and Chaos Barrage spells on a three turn cooldown. It's very different from how it used to be. I hope that it doesn't kill you. Um, Oh, Prince of Rain's still here. Let's go. It's cheaper now. Uh, a lot of these things are cheaper. I hadn't thought of it, but a lot of these things are cheaper because the early levels of Rip Wizard 2 will have less experience than the levels in Rip Wizard 1. So that's why a lot of these things are cheaper. Um, so if you see things that are 7 or 8 cost, getting to those is uh, gonna be very hard. Prices are gonna mess you up. They're gonna mess me up as well. Uh, Chaos Casting. Literally the same. I I tried this. It was not that exciting. Um, I tried this literally earlier today. It was not that exciting. Oh, reveal half of all damage to enemy units by demon allies as poison damage. Wow, that's so exciting. <laughs> um, whenever you cast a nature chaos spell, send out tremors along the ground from the target to nearby enemies. Break walls, come on, break walls. Each tremor deals 9 physical damage to the target and all units in its path. Okay, maybe it doesn't break walls, but it is pretty good for close levels. Um, base number of tremors is equal to the level of the spell, but can be modified by non-target's bonuses. Tremors can target enemies up to 8 tiles away. I don't know if it actually is 1 upgrade per spell, because some of these upgrades don't look like it's it's 1 upgrade per spell. Um, yeah. Oh! 1 damage type upgrade. Yeah, of course. Of course. 1 damage type up upgrade, of, uh, type upgrade, of course. Um, this is great. I'm, I'm having a blast and I haven't even taken a turn. Ooh, the targeter! Oh, can we port this into Reef Wizard 1, please? Like, I feel like if I... well, not if. When I go back to Rip Wizard 1, this is the one of the things that I'm gonna miss the most. Like, you saw how uh, complicated the targeting was in the run that I just finished? Oh, the targeter! This is literally just the targeter. Uh, but it is a lot better than the Rip Wizard 1 targeter, because now it's highlighted. Now you see what you're actually gonna be hitting. It's awesome. It's so beautiful. Right now, if you take any upgrade, it's the only upgrade you can take. Oh, uh, I hope that it doesn't stay like that. 
And I don't think it's gonna stay like that because of the thing that Farwell says. Like, it says Farwell can only be upgraded, can be upgraded with only one damage type upgrade. If it was only one upgrade at all, there would not need, there would not be any need for that text. Um, Oh, quite tanky. I guess it's fine because when you finish the level, you get a full refund. <laughs> what is that thing? It's the spawner. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought that you meant the target there. You took the line of sight upgrade for a spell and you were locked out of the modifier upgrade choice. It's probably... it's probably that, like... Ah, uh... Uh, hold on. I need to change things in... Reroll rifts? Limit one use per level, so no more portal disruptor. Ha! Ha ha! Cool! Exciting! Uh, I need to rebind controls. The only thing that I really need is um, this here and. Uh, ooh, fast forward backspace. And also the pickup needs to be this. Music volume is a bit high. Let me know if that lowers the volume, or if it only lowers the volume on, on my end. Oh, I can also lower it here. Let me do the other way around. Um... That should be fine, right? Mm, nice uh, new sprite for the rift. Hey, look at that! Are you telling me that there's gonna be levels that have three experience? Exotic pet shop, what is that? What is this? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, you get a full heal, full mana every time you finish a level, but there's less healing potions and less mana potions. You think that these spawners are gonna... Um, are gonna gain HP as the game goes on? Oh, so exciting. What do we do now? Uh, we got two experience. What can we do with two experience? Oh, wait, let me take a look at the far skills, because maybe I'm trying to... Yeah, I suspected it. Uh, oh, this is cheaper, actually. I thought that it was gone because it was not level 7 or level 6, but it's cheaper. And it's cheaper because... Oh, Prince of Ruin is fire! Wow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> For a sec! Wow, that was a roller coaster. This thing said fire spells and skills gain 3 damage, but then it said fire spells and skills gain 60% damage. So it's a lot better now as you gain upgrades. Because before it used to be like, uh, like just a flat 12, right? But with this, uh, if you get this and then you get like, I don't know, a, somehow a damage increase for Fireball, like for example Arch Arch Sorcerer, this increases that. Uh, that is so cool. Ooh, Disintegrator, what is this? Oh, <laughs> it's this! For every 40 damage dealt by sorcery spells you cast, deal one physical damage to all enemy units. Let's go, this is so exciting. Uh, what does Blood Magic do? Blood Magic is... Uh, I think really strong, but it has an HP cost. Like, for example, you can see on this one, HP cost 1. Deals 3 dark damage to target unit each turn for 15 turns, healing the caster for the same amount. Um, yeah. And there's also, like, this has a Flesh Fiend, for example. This is kind of wild, uh, but, like, kind of wild of a summon, but it costs 80 HP to cast. And I think that you can kill yourself by casting Blood Magic. So, I will try that, but not immediately. Um, this, I bet, is gonna be exciting, but I do want to try to win my first run, just like I did with Reef Wizard 1. Um, what happens if you life drain a summon? Lots of questions. Yeah, <laughs> what does scroll do? What's the blood magic? What does scroll do? No idea what does scroll do. Scroll of spells. Um, oh, it must be... It must be a way to get these spells? Like, maybe you get these spells for free if you if you land here? Instead of having to pay experience for them? I am, I am excited. I'm, I'm so excited. This is great. 
or maybe like a circle for those spells. That was my other my other guess. Um, exotic pet shop. I wonder what shop be about it. Uh, bag of spikes. You think bag of spikes is still gonna be as broken as it was when it comes to clearing levels? A cobalt look the same. These look the same. So exciting. Maybe it's a circle replacement, maybe it's a circle replacement. But I think that what's likely to be is that it just gives you one of those for free. That's probably what it is. I bet you get to pick a single spell with that sound that scroll, same with pet shop. Step one, get exotic doggos. Pet exotic doggos. Oh, it is random? It could be random. Um, wow, so many questions. This is so cool. So cool and so exciting. Uh, how do you enter the next level? Because I, I like uh, this is new game, right? So my settings are uh, kind of messed up. Uh, uh, interact. I think it was this. Yeah, it was that. Okay, so as always, I'm tempted to drop here and just use this to clear the level. Uh, and it might be the correct thing to do. Let's let's just do that. Okay, considering the level, I think that I might want Exturbo. Um, these guys still deal 1. These guys still 60 HP. Um, hey, look at this! I didn't even think about this earlier. Yeah, oh, this is so cool! Oh, I'm so excited for this. Um, let's help them a bit, because after all I do... I, it's not like, uh, like in Reef Wizard 1, where preserving your resources um, whenever you do something like that, it's like crucial. Since I'm gonna get a full mana refill uh, after I'm done with this, might as well just help them push, right? Yeah, there we go. Full HP, full mana refill. Damage to wizard 1 Cobalt. Hmm. By extension, uh, consumables are more valuable in this... Uh, ooh, new enemy. Rockworm. Burrowing? Burrowing? What? What is that? The gameplay is so different because of that mana recharge. Exotic pet shop. Exotic pet trinket. Start each level with a clay, si clay ice lizard. Or a ghostly treant. Or a large worm ball. Ooh, so that's what it does. I should have gone into the level and inspected the scroll as well. Oh, oh, let, let me. No, no. I, I was really hopeful to to see if like uh, I could simulate the targeter um, in uh, in a level like when when looking at the level because that's something that Reef Wizard One doesn't have and I always say that especially when I'm doing far stuff I really always want to see that and this game doesn't have it yet but maybe it will have it at some point maybe if I suggest it it will be uh, possible and like 150 other reasons it's different. The resource management was such a presence in the first game. I feel like it's still gonna be uh, such a presence, since after all, you don't get potions every level. Um, where do we go? I think that this might be the one. Um, I have 4 experience. What can I get with 4 experience? Melt still the same? Mass melt? Chains up to up to 2 target enemies, or adjacent enemies. Adjacent, so they need to be right next? That's kind of lame. White Flame. Whenever you cast a fire, chaos a spell other than melt? Wow! So I see... I see... Skills are kind of turning into spell upgrades. That's cool. That's cool. Immolate. Target enemy takes 3 fire damage each turn for each... It turns this damage increases by 3 damage each turn. Conflagration. It also affects a connected group of enemies. Uh, what was that? Humility deals half damage to units in a three tile radius around the target each turn. Not bad. When, em when an immolated enemy dies, regain a charge of a random level 4 or lower dragon spell you know. Cool upgrades. Ooh, Blaze Rip got. Uh, and now it's level 3. 
How how does that work? Because it was level two before. Uh, from the get go, it doesn't seem great. Blaze Reap also casts behind the player. Cool. Inflicts Ether Poison on units it hits. Ether Poison lasts 4 turns and deals 1 arcane damage per turn and causes the enemy to lose 50 arcane resistance during the duration. <laughs> New content, how exciting! Yeah, it has a lot. It has a lot. Um, it really is very different. Uh, this is so exciting. On kill someone a swarm of either Faith Flies or Burning Flies. Faith Flies? Holy fire, um, oh, this is so exciting. Rain of Fire. Uh, this is not Meteor Shower, but, or, well, I guess it is Meteor Shower, but, um, on random tiles, range 50. Does it just target the whole level now? That's cool. Each Meteor mimics the effect of your Fireball spell. So you're telling me that I should just upgrade Fireball and then get Rain of Fire? Maybe. Um, <clears throat> any uh, uh, level one spells? Level one spells. Mm. Electric ink. Whenever lightning bolt kills a unit, spawn a living lightning scroll that can recast your lightning bolt once. Uh, nice. Energy bolt. Lightning Bolt also deals arcane damage. Big nerf to this. It was so strong on, on Reef Wizard 1. Like, we just saw it. Life Drain is new. Yeah. It's probably not a terrible thing to get. Uh, do, does... Does it still exist? Cantrip Cascade. It still exists. I feel like it, the Cantrip Cascade on Reef Wizard 2 is probably gonna be really funny. Um, Dreamwalk. Dreamwalk for 5 turns. Afterwards, you return to the location you cast it at, restore to the HP you cast it at. Casting Dreamwalk while Dreamwalk is already active will simply end the current walk. No idea what Dreamwalk is. Orb Cascade Upgrade? Arcane Orb. The Orb can cast Magic Missile and gains any Magic Missile upgrades you possess. Wow, this is so cool! But what does Dreamwalk do? Oh! Oh, yeah! It doesn't... Like, uh, it gives you status effect. It gives you status effect, and then you Dreamwalk, and you use a lot of blood magic. And then you restore to full HP. That's interesting. Spicy. Spicy. I, I have to try that at some point. Wow, this is so cool! I'm glad that I didn't see anything about this game before now, because if I had seen this, I would have only been thinking about this while I was playing Rift Wizard 1, so I did the right thing. Is this thing still super broken? Guys disappear after 32 turns, so it's not broken anymore. What got offering? Uh, it summons a Gotia. Literally only summons a Gotia. What are Gotias? Uh, oh, they're... no, they're still immobile. But they have a leap attack now, with 7 range. 5 physical damage, 7 range, 2 turn cooldown, leap attack. And it also teleports randomly. On death deal 5 damage uh, to all tiles in a radius of 1. 5 dark damage. This is so cool. Um, wow, this is so fantastic. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Ro uh, level 3. Um... I hope that I didn't, did not uh, make a serious mistake by using the the, My wife still doesn't believe the spike me. ball. Inon, thank you for the five gift subs. I appreciate it a lot. Um, thank you so much for your generous contributions to the stream. It's pretty wild. Celebration day. Yeah, this is so cool. Um, unfortunately, these guys still take three fireballs, uh, so I don't think that that uh, dealing with those guys uh, just like this is a good idea. Units in a certain tile take extra physical damage and are stunned for 3 turns. Maybe we get like... Um, melt. Melt does one-shot them. Doesn't have that much range, but it does one-shot them. My wife still doesn't believe in me! Eh, thank you for the extra gifts of Inon, I appreciate it a lot. Um, 
far skills. We have Chaos Familiar, Handlord, Melting Armor, Prince of Ruin. Dude, that is so exciting because Fire Lord now, uh, Fire Spells and Skills gain 60% damage. So this is Fire Lightning Chaos. It used to be only Chaos. So it gets enhanced by Fire Lord and it also gets enhanced by Lightning Lord, by Thunder Lord. Lightning Spells and Skills gain 50% damage. This is so cool. This is so cool. Ah, I'm so excited for this. This is so great. The soundtrack is a lot more varied now, that's awesome. Um, whenever you cast a fire spell, you have less than 4 doggies, summon a doggy. Uh, they have a leap attack, fighty bodies which deal damage to melee attackers and fire melee attacks. Seems very strong. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Was this always level 6 or did it get buffed? Or like nerfed, I suppose. I never had a good Steam Anima run. Some people say that that's the first run, like the first build that they win the game with, but I never had it. Seems like a nerf. Yeah, like some things have gotten nerfed, like it's perfectly understandable. One of the things that I see hasn't gotten nerfed is World of Chaos, but maybe the fact that you get less experience now is the nerf uh, that World of Chaos received. Um, like, anyway, it's ne it was never something that I got super early. And whenever I did get it super early, I tended to die. Um, let's get another fire spell, right? Ooh, it's a fire lightning sorcery. This already existed, right? Chaos Pulse? Add a physical damage layer. Lightning damage arcs to two enemies in enemy units in line of sight and kill jump to a new target. But you can only get one upgrade for now, so it's either Chaos Pulse as a Cascade or Greater Cascade. Not that it matters, I don't think that uh, we can afford to get upgrades uh, for now. Flame Burst! Oh, this is a rework of um, of Flame Burst, right? Was it, was it called Flame Burst? Uh, uh... Yeah, Flame Burst. Flame Burst in Reef Wizard 1, Flame Burst in Reef Wizard 2. I was a bit confused because the glyph changed, I think. Yeah, I see that it's now level 4, it used to be level 3, and yeah, understandable. Deal 40 fire damage in natal burst around the caster. Okay, it also got nerfed, it deals more damage and it has a lot more range now. Not as much range as with the range upgrade, but still more range. Melting Flame. Bright Flame and Spreading Flame. Oh, let's go! Does it still exist? Does it still exist? Yeah! Regain all charges of a random other spell which currently has no remaining charges. Oh, so exciting. I'm probably gonna go for the classic, right? Um, spreading flame adds radius. Yes, that's uh, the exciting part. And the thing is that since you get a full refund after beating the level, I think that doing spreading flame stuff uh, is a lot more feasible now. Um, I'm still gonna get Mystic Memory, because it's still in the game, right? Um, um, oh, Seeding Seal is still here. You think it actually works the way that... Oh, yeah, uh, whenever a unit takes the fire damage, the seal gains that many charges. Okay, so it probably works like that. I doubt that it made it to Reef Wizard 2, and it with like the text uh, being misleading. Chaos Seal? There's a Chaos Seal? There's a Chaos Seal? Show me that. Chaos Seal. No. There's Essence Flux. Upgrade for Seeding. Oh! Upgrade for Seeding. Upgrade for Seeding. Or, uh, yeah. Slow burn. Non expiring and dealing damage gain above that reduces half the damage, then finally one that deals a third of it. Jeez. Gains charges separately from fire, lightning, and physical damage, and reduces each on expiration. Oh, that's so cool! By every hundred damage dealt, someone a flame spirit. Oh, I need that so badly. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Yes, uh, I am. I am having um, such a good time. Just like I'm not even playing. I'm just looking at the new stuff. 
Uh, <laughs> let's let's get a spell because I need to get a spell to continue. What spell are we going to get? I'm gonna get um, maybe not Fan of Flames. Um, Flame Burst. Mm, I hope that I do not die because of these bots. Here we go. Um, oh, oh, the targeter, the targeter. Oh, I'm so happy about the targeter. That really needs to make its way to Rip Wizard One at some point. Death new wrong hype. No, you don't understand. I won Rift Wizard 1 in my first attempt, so I want to win Rift Wizard 2 in my first attempt as well, if possible, of course. Um... Oh, why did I do this? But it's fine, I'm gonna get a full HP refill anyway. Makes it a lot more reasonable to pay with HP, uh, like actually use all of your resources, kind of thing. Yeah, things were fine. Okay, exotic pet. I can start with a clay ice lizard, a ghostly trant, or a chaos large worm ball. I am interested in the chaos large worm ball. I want to see what it does. Okay, chaos ball. Uh, cool, cool stuff. Wow, and that splits into two smaller versions of itself. Regen three HP per turn on that spawns four imps. I got Pokemon in Rift Wizard. Yeah, Rift Pokemon. Treasure chest. Ooh, items. I I guess that we can we can see this. What does this do? School necklace trinket. Dark spells and skills gain four million damage. Whenever an enemy unit takes dark arcane damage, it deals. It gets minus twenty five dark and arcane resist. Okay, that was a skill or that was a, a shrine. Playing Rift Wizard too early? Yes! Uh, yes, I am! <laughs> this is great! Ah, this is so good! I am ready for inventory management. Uh, subsidy spells and skills gain 3 range, 3 damage, and 1 charge. Okay, I think we probably want that. Uh, gnomes are still extremely evil. Gnomes are still vile. Foul creature creatures. Uh, so I don't know about that. Ooh, Sal Male Rove. With some resistances and whenever a living unit dies, gain one shield up to a max of two. <laughs> you heard her crafting. Adding crafting and fishing to Rift Wizard 3. Yeah, sure. And then Rift Wizard 4 is gonna be like uh, open world uh, randomly generated, right? <laughs> it's gonna have rollback netcode. <laughs> Uh, what does this do? The Blaze Loom. For every 50 damage dealt to enemies with enchantment spells, automatically cast a Blaze Rip on a random enemy. Not bad. Um, Witch Whistle. For every 100 dark damage dealt to enemies, summon a Witch Whistle. A Witch Whistle? What is a Witch Whistle? Sorcerer's Dagger. Sorcery spells and skills gain 3 damage. Wow, that's so strong. And look at that, that's better armor. Well, not quite different armor, because this has different resistances, but it still looks pretty good. Rift Wizard 5 Modern Wizard Black Magic. I didn't even check, but like, it seems that all of these levels only have two memory orbs. Um, more exotic pet shops. Um, electric Centaur. Troll Blooded Spore Beast. Or Immortal Troll. <laughs> what is that? Immortal Troll, that sounds wild. Pachyderm. That's new. Pachyderm. Pachyderm Spawner. Trample Attack. Resistance to Physical. This level looks easy, I'm probably going there. It does have two mana potions. But I think that, like, uh, I'm curious about the Immortal Troll. But I am also a lot uh, more interested in this uh, sorcery wand because it says that uh, that it uh, does a lot of good stuff for my sorceries and I'm gonna be using a lot of sorcery, right? 3 range, 3 damage and 1 charge. It's almost uh, arch sorcerer. Is it your all these levels have been dark chasm open levels? 
<laughs> that's pretty ominous. And yes, I think that all these levels have been Dark Chasm open levels. Like, um... This is not really Dark Chasm open level, but it does have a lot of Chasm and it is pretty open. But it's not 100% that, right? This is, and this is as well, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that Realm 20 something is gonna be, like, very cramped. Uh, and by extension, Flame Burst with Spreading Flame is gonna be not so great, but... Let's wait and see when that time comes. Um, with the way that this is going, I'm probably gonna do the same thing that Shake the Box will do tomorrow and just stream for the whole day. This is so exciting. You wonder if uh, my choice of level type flavors the next set of choices? Date your spells? Date your spells? <laughs> Reef Wizard dating sim, oh I see. Reef Wizard sims 6 modern warlock. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Where do we go? Steel Spider, resistant to fire, but Flame Burst kills it all, right? Mm. Oh, wait! Important thing that I didn't even check. Blink is still here. Okay. It has low range. You can get blind casting. Casting Blink also casts Dispersion, that's cool. Casting Blink casts Thunderstrike on the two closest enemy targets, that's so cool! I'm, I love this, because this is, uh, like, the blink upgrade was lame, right? Like, the blink damage upgrades used to be really garbage in Rift Wizard 1. Like, I never got them, not even once. Um, this looks a lot more interesting, because you can you can blink, and if you have Thunderstrike, it also does that, right? Um, I do have to wait until... Like, uh, it is made clear that you, we can get more than one upgrade, because right now, blind casting is still, like, the king, right? Uh, or at least that's what I believe. Um, arcane enchantment? Oh, Mystic Vision is still here. Phew. Uh, I'm glad, because Mystic Vision with Blink is pretty strong, and we can get, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same as in Rift Wizard 1. If all translocation has damage, you might be able to do a translocation only build. That is also pretty exciting. Violent Warp. Casts magic missile on all teleported enemy units. Not quite translocation only, because you have to get the support spells. But I can see it happening. Soul Swap. Yeah, this already existed in Rift Wizard 1, right? At the very least, it's something that the enemies had. I feel like this could be really useful. Force transfer, what is that? Can target enemy undead units as well. That sounds pretty useful. So exciting. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's go to the next level now. Uh, I think we start here and we just get rid of the gates, right? And then we go from there. Oh, are you gonna die from this? You have 55 HP, and you also regen HP per turn, so you're not gonna die from this. Uh, I want to wait for the Meteor upgrade. Units in the center, center tile take extra physical damage and are stunned for 3 turns. Okay, it's split into a large one and a couple of imps. Huh. It still stuns you, right? I didn't check. Alright, the pet was or has been pretty useful. I hope it's not something like, you can only have one pet. I hope it is multiple pets. Okay, yeah, it's multiple pets. Start each level with an Immortal Troll. Um, immortal Troll. 
Regen reincarnate when killed two times. Okay, okay, it seems pretty strong. I wonder if we're gonna see those as enemies. Hey, okay, okay, this level uh, has three experience. These two and these two, so the first four have only two experience, interesting. I thought it was gonna be a bit more than that. 135 HP, yeah, that guy's not dying anytime soon. Upon entering a level, all enemies are stunned for one turn. Oh, I need that so much. Every six steps, summon a green slime. Upon taking damage, gain one shield, but it makes me take more damage. Huh. Curious. Ice spells and skills gain five damage, seven duration, and one charge. These, uh... Items are really strong. What is that? Troll blood of displacer beast. Wow. Snake spawner. So far, they seem to always have 40 HP. Haven't noticed their HP going up. Mind maggot spawner. And horn toad spawner. Ruby heart. <clears throat> I think that we probably want to go to this uh, treasure chest, right? This guy still has seven shields. Mm. But I have pets. Maybe my pets help me uh, beat this guy. Alternatively, I could do this, and this could be very easy. But it doesn't really give me a lot, like... I want those Time Striders. Yes, I, I would like to uh, stun things as soon as I enter the level. Um, okay, that's nice. And it worked immediately? No, no it didn't. No way it did. Was, were they stunned? They were not stunned, like this guy moved. Whenever you enter a level, you always have uh, the first action. Check log? Oh. Oh no, I pressed the button that I would use to check log on Rip Wizard 1. Uh, let me change that as well. Message log. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, let's take a look at the bestiary. Uh, what I really want... this. I don't think that it's only going to be 260 monsters. Um, I want to type something. Um, can I type something? No, I cannot. It would be great if you could search for monsters here. It would be really great. Uh, something that would also be super cool is if you could uh, click on a monster and generate like an arena so you can test stuff versus that monster. Um, yeah, maybe that's a bit too ambitious of a thing that I'm asking for, but it would be great. Yeah, the witches are exactly the same, right? It's nice to see that some things are exactly the same and some things are very different. Okay, these guys are being pretty useful. Oh, the Gotia with the launch attack. Oh, what are you doing? Glass uh, orb, yeah? Glass shard, you've always done that, it's just that it didn't have a lot of an animation. It looked like a, like a stone arrow from, from Crawl. Very cool. Uh, very cool indeed. Oh, I'm getting stunned. Wow, you're actually kind of scary now. Uh, this thing no longer gives shields to allies, right? Or does it? Shields allies! Okay, let's just get rid of you now, because I can. Okay, they, it's split into a bunch of stuff. Oh, you have resistance to fire, so it didn't, didn't actually kill you. How 
much damage does Fireball deal? Still 9. Um, I like that you can target the center and it deals more damage with this upgrade. And I cannot get any more upgrades, right? Well, no idea, uh, because I don't have the experience for that, but maybe after I finish this level I'll see that. Okay, are these guys permanent? They seem to be permanent. Okay, there's only one more enemy left. Okay, have the experience for this now. And yeah, you can only get one upgrade at all. Uh, so either the text on Fireball is just... Uh, like um, a relic of Reef Wizard 1 and it's probably gonna get removed at some point or it is bugged and you can actually only get one upgrade. Um, which in my opinion it doesn't make a lot of sense that you could only get one upgrade for some spells because some spells are kind of built so that you get multiple. Like um, like I guess on Fireball the, the damage upgrades or like the upgrades that I have like uh, it's reasonable you can only get one right? But uh, let's say, for example, um, there were some that had like, you know, the usual things, charges and, and stuff like that. Uh, or maybe not. None of these have had charges upgrades. One of them did have damage. Um, seems like a design choice to discourage pumping all of your points into one spell with a billion upgrades. Yes, um, absolutely. So yeah, sitting seal with chaos seal is gonna be pretty funny soon. Should I start saving up for Far Lord? Far Lord seems like it does a lot more if I have a damage increase, but how do I get damage increases for this? Mm. Arch Sorcerer is how I would get damage increases. All spells and skills gain 2 range! Wow, finally! More skills for sorceries! That's so exciting! Also this, right? Disintegrator. This is awesome. Hecomancer. Whenever you cast the same sorcery spell twice in a row, gain a charge of that spell. So good. That is awesome. Uh, Crystal Power still does the same. I don't think it worked for Glassified in Reef Wizard 1, but... Maybe this game will have a way to mass classify stuff. Um, so exciting. That's your max charges right there. Yeah, this one. Um, because Arch Sorcerer doesn't give... Oh, 25% max charges. 7 damage to range, 25% max charges. So cool, isn't it? The gates still have 40 HP. Scroll spells? I think that you get the spell for free. Sacrifice half your HP, round it up, and summon a Worm Ball with that much HP. Worm Balls regen 3 HP per turn and have a melee attack dealing damage equal to half their max HP. Jeez. You sacrifice 50 or more HP, summon a Worm Shambler instead of a Worm Ball. Yeah, this, this must be blood magic, yeah. Um. It's cool because I kind of wanted Pyrostatic Pulse. So going to a level like this, it's not like... or it, it might be uh, the replacement for a Circle. And you just get the spell for free. Uh, what does a Circle do? It effectively gives you more experience, right? What does this do? It effectively gives you more experience. It might be the replacement for, for Circles. Um, Void Bomber Lich? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Excuse me, so how exactly does this guy work? It's a Void Bomber, but it also is unkillable? How? No, really, I have no idea how, how this works. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it explodes each turn or it can't explode or what's up with that. What I do know is that it's probably gonna be very annoying because it's a Lich. Why is it a Void Bomber Lich? <laughs> That's so silly. Void Bomber Lich. Uh, hat chest. Hey, hats. Uh, ice spark hat. Uh, ice spark cap helmet. Reveal 50% of ice damage dealt to enemies as lightning. Lightning's boson skills gain 1 range, 25 damage. 
Ah, oh, when you cast a fire spell, your fire spells and skills gain two damage for six turns. I feel like I should go here, but I don't know how to deal with this guy. Uh, Fireball deals um, extra damage with the meteor, but I don't know how much damage that is. Extra physical damage and are stunned for three turns. Doesn't say exactly how much extra physical damage it is. Huh, I would like to know how much damage it is. Ghost bombs? What is ghost bombs? Clay green slime. Burning spore beast. But I, I don't want any more pets. I feel like pets are not great for what I'm doing because I'm casting flame burst. And right now, like, the pets are strong enough to tank it, but eventually my flame burst should be stronger than that. Wow, it's a bit early in the game for a dragon mage, isn't it? Uh, scale weave. Allies within 4 tiles of target allied dragon gaining me. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so on two ice drakes at a random location on the map, so it's not random dragons anymore, it's always ice drakes, that's pretty scary. Because those, those are the strongest ones. Leap. Instantly moves to the target tile. Cool. And in melee attack. Mm, doesn't look that rough, but it still looks pretty strong. I think that this is where we go. Um, we start, like, as always, just to start killing the gates. Parim spawner. Oh, but these guys are immune. Okay, we don't go there. Yeah, um, yeah, we don't go there. I think that I want to go here to this. Ghostly Void Bomber. Okay. Yeah, we still need to be able to deal with the fart Drake. Oh, maybe my pets can do that. Yeah, pets, let's go. Let's go for the pets. Uh, this is so exciting. And it's a new unexplored, new unexplored uh, Reef Wizard territory. Oh yeah, these guys are stunned. Hey, look at that! Beautiful. So I'm, I'm now going to walk in, in the opposite direction. Prince of Ruin? You think I should get Prince of Ruin now? Ghost Bombs. Ghostly Void Bomber doesn't seem to do anything. Um, other than it has 19 HP. Old Bombs used to have 1 HP, so it's nice to see that they got more HP now, uh, that they're harder to kill. Did I get stunned? Oh! Each turn 25% chance to blink to a random tile of the 3 tiles away. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, oh, they destroy the walls. Fire Frenzy. Fire spells and skills gain 2 damage. How does that work? Let, let's take a look at the HP of the Fire Drake. Mm, it dealt... Uh, 13? 9? Okay. Okay, I think I understand this. Meteor makes it so that it deals the same amount of fire damage, but as physical. That's how it works. And you get the fire frenzy before you deal damage with the spell. Cool. Um... Is this thing stunning? Ah, stunned for three turns. Wow. I, I am I, I'm constantly in a state of of uh, sheer awe at how things are developing. Um, gotta be careful with the charges, of course. Oh, that's nice. You move damage dealt, ally damage taken. This is so nice. I haven't paid a lot of attention to it because we're not quite doing exciting stuff yet, but 
when we are doing si exciting stuff, this will be a lot more exciting. Oh, oh no, I almost died. Uh, I was holding down weight as if I was done with the level, but it turns out uh, that I wasn't done just yet. One guy snuck past this immortal troll. This guy's pretty good. Red Obsidian Shard, that surely is something related to, to fire magic, right? Each enemy adjacent to an ally demon or undead unit takes to far damage. Boo! Your summoned ally deals 6 physical damage to melee attackers. That's fine. Enchantments? No. Dark? No. Okay. That's so cool. Um, Ghostly Witch. I see that these guys have a good chunk of HP. Uh, also, these doggies are kind of unkillable for me. Mm. Do we get another pet? Yet another pet. Sigil chest. Hold on. Start each level with a cursed cat lair. With an ogre lair and with a large worm ball lair. Oh! Uh, this, is, this must be the replacement for like troll crowns and stuff like that, right? Two-headed snake. On <laughs> that spawn, two snakes. That's so funny. Uh, let me see skills, because... Seating hit still exists. Oh, now it deals one damage instead of three damage. Yeah, I think that uh, that is perfectly reasonable. Seating hit was kind of broken. It may be that. Um, the early levels are open by design because doing a, a, a like a labyrinth like level two on Brief Wizard One was super messed up. Yeah, maybe it is like that. Um, ah, this looks kind of nasty. Yeah, from these levels, I think the easiest one is probably this one. We start close to these gates. Myco Beast has a 10% chance each turn to spawn a green mushroom or a grey mushroom and it regens 1 HP per turn. Okay. Okay. Free reroll each level too, right? Yes, yes, reroll rifts. Reroll the destination of all rifts, limit one use per level. You still have your uh, teleporter. Uh, Interesting thing, I have not picked up a lot of healing potions in this playthrough. Um, I hope that doesn't kill me at some point. But so far I haven't needed them, so it's fine. Uh, if I'm going to this level, I need to get City Heat, because we need to shred some, some shields here. Crafting, perhaps fishing, no. Yeah, fishing is reserved for, for Japanese games only. Alright, it's good. Ally damage taken the wizard 63, so I dealt 63 damage to my allies. But they regen, so it's fine. Okay. Are you the one that gives one shield to, to everyone? I mean, it's fine because I can just get rid of those shields. Um... But you're still a bit worrisome. It feels nice to actually do stuff instead of just saying, oh, I'm done and I might as well save my resources, right? At the end of a level. Is this actually Rift Wizard 2? Are you joking? It, it is It is Rift Wizard 2. It is completely different, like from the targeter. Look at this beautiful targeter. Uh, it is so much better than Rift Wizard 1's targeter. 
A uh, Flame Burst is also more expensive but deals more damage and it also has more range. You need to get the range upgrade. Um, yeah, it is a lot different. Lot, lot, uh, lot different. Vampire Count! 333 HP, huh? These guys uh, were not there. Look at that, this... Okay, okay, I'm starting to see where this is going. These guys have a lot more HP. Yeah, Ghostly Pachyderm. Hmm, interesting. Scepter of Sorrows, Ice and Dark, no. Dragon Spells and Skills, nope. Whenever a minion you control deals damage to an enemy, they reveal how that much damage is far damage? Maybe. Yeah, that... Uh, that could be uh, if I wanted to go there, but I don't know if I can. Those guys seem like they have a, a lot of HP. Um, ooh, interesting. I like how the walls are like pots and orbs and stuff. I was like, what is this potion? But it is a wall. It is not a potion, it is a wall. Box of Woe. I see Fire Lizard. What is that? I see Fire Lizard. It's immune to ice and highly resistant to fire. And it has Ice Ball, which freezes, and uh, Fire Bolt. This level doesn't seem to have guys with 300 HP. I don't know what's up with the other level. Uh, is the other level providing me with um, crazy value? Like, um, because otherwise I don't know why... why it has multiple vampire counts too. Like it has two. They have crazy HP. Um, they summon. At least they don't have a strong ranged attack. But whenever any unit takes dark damage, heals for four HP. It could be kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I'm not going there anyway. Vampire counts were in one, pretty sure. Yes, but they didn't have 333 HP. That's that's the thing. I think they. Um, they, yeah, they are very different, I think. I don't think they summoned vampires, and I don't think they summoned uh, a bunch of stuff. And they definitely didn't have 333 HP. That's what's uh, strange about that. Oh, scroll spells. It has Lightning Spark, Dominate, Mercury Ice, and Moonglaive. Moonglaive says, deal 7 arcane, 7 physical damage in a line to target empty tile. The glaive will linger on the target tile for one turn and return at the end of your next turn dealing damage again. This is so cool. The bestiary is not uh, sorted now, like, uh, yeah. We... this is uh, pretty much untouched from the first game. I was hoping to, to be able to click on it and, like, generate an arena where I can do stuff with the monster or... Um, or things like that, and it doesn't really work. Um, they, yeah, it doesn't do anything other than being a list. You cannot search it. Um, you cannot even use the mouse's wheel to scroll through the bestiary. Uh, I used to do that a lot in Rift Wizard 1, so that's kind of a shame. Uh, let me see something in the bestiary, because I think that monsters have modifiers that do not appear here. We only see like the base type of the monsters, but the monsters can have a lot of modifiers. Yeah, the reason why I say that is because I just saw Leech, um, Leech Void, um, Void Bombers. Yeah, <laughs> Leech Void Bombers is what I saw. And I was like very confused about that. Mouse Scroll might be a key binding issue, you think? No idea. Doesn't I don't see anything here that could help with that. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the spells, it also works like that. Uh, instead of scrolling to the next page, it scrolls the properties of the spell. Uh, but it's fine. It's not really a big issue. Any spells or skills missing from the game so far? Uh, yeah, some stuff has turned into into upgrades. Like for example. Um, if we go if we go to melt, you will see that melt has white flame as an upgrade. So it's no longer a skill. You get melt and then you get white flame. And white flame works on um, 
on fire kills spells other than melt. And it also doesn't deal base damage the way that White Flame used to do, it just casts a melt uh, for free, I suppose. So, this game uh, you get mana refills and HP refills every level. Um, yeah, we're not going there. I might want to go there for Moonglaive, but I, I don't know. I think that this was the one that I wanted to go to the most. The Icy Far Lizard is going to be kind of uh, difficult to kill, but I have a one turn of freeze. Do not forget that I have um, that I have one turn of freeze. It is pretty impactful to have that. Wow, there's two boxes of woe. That could be a problem. I'm tempted to do it again. Yeah, just continue hurting my my allies. Oof, I am frozen. Did you see that it appeared here? You are frozen? Ah, it was you who froze me for two turns. Hmm, perhaps not the safest level to go to. I think we're fine, but I have to teleport away. Um, yeah, we definitely don't stay here, because if I stay here, I'm gonna get killed very quickly. That's nice. And you can get a more detailed thing by doing this. Still not um, how I would like to see it. I would I would love to see highlighting for for like whenever I take damage, for example. Uh, like it should be a different color. I don't think that would be too difficult to implement. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. At some point did I get, uh... yeah, two tile bursts. Did, did I at some point get like a radius upgrade? No idea. No idea. Has it always been this big? I, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm going crazy. Cause color code the letters of enemy names based on the tab colors, like tapes, caves of context. Yeah, something like that. Um, as much uh, visual clarity as possible is what I want. Oh, it's immune to physical. Poor immortal troll, but it uh, was greatly useful. Yeah, my summons were so helpful. I'm gonna stay away from that range for a bit. Um, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, you're healing! Yeah, you take, what, uh, two damage, but then you heal five? That's awesome. Yeah, now I have to go deal with those guys myself. Because uh, the troll cannot deal damage to them, because they're all immune to physical. Beautiful. Amazing. This is, this is great. This is going great. <clears throat> I do have to say that the difficulty seems to ramp up uh, a bit more than in the first game, but also like your power level also increases, which is pretty interesting. Um, ghostly Raven, yeah. Ghost, Liches and stuff like that seems to be modifiers for base enemy types. I wonder if that means that there's a ton of extra new tiles. Seems like a lot of work. 
Gonna get some 3x3 enemies soon, I reckon. Reverse of 1 was a bit too easy once you got your combos online, in your opinion. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man, this is so cool. This is so cool. It's so different. Mm, lightning spells and heals gain one number of summons. Mm, those are kinda useless to me. Golden Trinket Chest. What does that do? Golden Tome. Oh, it's for holy spells. 25% damage, 1 charge, 25 duration, 3 million damage, and 1 range. Okay, but it's only for holy, so it's not so exciting. And this has... Fiery Lens, Fire Spells and Skills gain 1 range. Exciting. Every 3 turns, the nearest 3 enemy units are affected with poison for 3 turns. 25% resistance to fire. I wonder if that means that stone shields and energy shields don't exist anymore. Because literally the tile for the stone shield was recolored a bit. Holy shield. Probably done with shaders on a base sprite. Notice how my exotic best lists on the left use the same base stripes as sprites, unlike how they appear on the map. Yeah, you are correct. They use the base sprites, unlike how they appear on the map. I kind of want to go here, but I feel like I'm gonna die. On the other hand, I can get the Holy Redeal, and things would be okay. Yeah, uh, in this game, Redeals no longer bypass uh, resistance. Well, they don't. They no longer bypass immunity. Um, maybe I should get Melting Armor instead of the Holy Redeal then. Okay, let's see how this goes. And I get my one range upgrade for for fire stuff. That doesn't work for this, but it does work for this. Okay. Seriously, only six. Uh, oh yeah, this guy didn't take any damage because of the shields. Oh no, Fire Wizard gave them a lot of fire protection. And I think this guy has immunity to fire from the get-go. I can beat it, but... Um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of annoying. I can beat it with Fireball. Um, with the Meteor upgrade, it deals physical damage in the middle. I'm tempted to use a stopwatch. Yeah, I'm gonna use a stopwatch because I only have one healing potion and it's looking like I'm gonna take a lot of damage if I don't use a stopwatch. I think I may have melted my pet's armor too. No, well, didn't, doesn't seem to be the case. Look at this guy, he still has 50% resistance to fire. This guy doesn't have weakness. Wizard, you're in mortal danger. Proceed with her, yeah, pretty much. I still want to get rid of that guy, like, right now. A bit too far away. It's about to give everyone uh, protection. Oh, I can get the redeal. I wanted to get the redeal. I hope I'm, I'm not throwing by getting the redeal so early. I think I'm just gonna wait for that guy to come over here, to get closer. Not my brightest moment, I do have to say, going into a monster, uh, a level full of fire guys uh, with no ability to deal any damage that's uh, not fire. Except for, of course, uh, the meteor upgrade on Fireball.
At least uh, this uh, my fireball is gaining a lot of base dam or a lot of damage because of fire frenzy. So that's nice. Adjacent unit, so that means I can do this. Things will be fine. Uh, oh, come on. How, how come you're not moving to a tile that I... Ah, uh, uh, hold on. Key binding once again. Um, look. This is, this is right. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Oh. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to see the line of sight of, uh, of a certain tile. Show line of sight. Uh, so my fireball is a bit lacking in the range department, I see. I would have to walk a bit forward. I think that if I walked here, I would be able to hit the guy. It's about everything is about to lose its fire protection. I think the moment that they do, I just spam flame burst. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy. Out of fireball. It's the first time that I run out of a spell. Uh, we still are not out of level too, which is kind of worrisome. And I'm out of uh, experience. I could grab the experience in uh, in the floor. How am I playing Grip Wizard 2? Uh, the developer provided me with a key after I asked very nicely. Yeah, it helps when you have streamed 360 hours of uh, of their game, of their previous game. Well, it was not actually 360 hours, but the vast majority of those 360 hours that I have on Rift Wizard 1, I have streamed. So yeah, that, that probably helped a bit. Mm. Yeah, the reveals not not doing not working the way that they work in Rift Wizard 1 might be a, a, an issue. Hmm. Hmm. This is not great. I can use a mana potion, I guess. I don't want to hit my guys. I wish there was a way to make your guys immune to the things that you're doing. Um, having a lot of guys is definitely not um, not great when you're doing flame burst. Wait a second, Melting Armor does not reduce fire! <laughs> oh no, it doesn't reduce fire resistance, it only reduces physical now. I guess it's fine because my Fireball is dealing physical, but I do have a big incentive to get something that deals physical damage now. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Fireball stun is godly? Yeah, Fireball stun is uh, carrying this. So, this says to six random enemies. Uh, I guess I can get rid of these guys. And uh, we should maybe be pretty close to being able to death dice away the rest of the level. Um, As long as these guys still spawn, like since they make shrooms, it's gonna make the death dice pretty sketchy, but let's go for it. 
Okay, didn't get rid of this thing, didn't get rid of this thing. That's fine. I think we got a pretty good uh, death dice. Spent charges about to be refilled. Yeah, this is the first time that I use a mana potion, uh, but we have uh, we have five, so who cares? Ah, let's go. Didn't have to use. Uh, didn't have to use my only HP potion. Ah, another one. I think that they might be like. Ooh, this level has four experience. What is going on? <laughs> Why does this level have four experience? Uh, oh, <laughs> finally, big guy. Uh, three by three monster. I love nightmares. Uh, one damage, 99 range, six radius gun. Grant an allied unit, 75 arcane and dark resistance. Dark and arcane damage aura. <laughs> that sounds very annoying to deal with. Um, Icy Horn Toads. Must be a base modifier for the Horn Toad, right? Um, but yeah, nothing is gonna be as jarring as the um, as the Lich Bomber. Like, how did that work? How does how does a Lich Bomber work? <laughs> okay, is the next level like uh, okay? So only one level seems to have a big guy. Three by three gnome? No, that sounds pretty awful. Um, hmm. Lowell only has three gates. Uh, staff chest. A flame weaver. Enchantment as far damage. Nope. Or level two arcane spell summon a bogart. Level three or higher arcane spell summon a face of spider. All spells and skills gain one radius and one range. That seems very good. That seems very, 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 very good. Um, the gates are uh, pretty good at um, disguising themselves. Yeah, I didn't see the purple ones, I only saw the red ones. <laughs> but now there's purple ones. So I'm thinking I start here and I just flame burst. Maybe farble some of these things. Uh, and, and like try to kill this thing as soon as possible. But how do we kill it, really? How do we kill it? The reward is good, but... The old gates reminded you of those things from Gauntlet? I think that was the objective. Um, I don't know what those things from Gauntlet are. Mystic Orb. Arcane spells and skills gain damage, charges, medium health, duration, or medium damage. Uh, but I don't want those things. I do want the healing. Funnily enough, the healing is like high, high, high value um, thing to get in this game. Like, it's literally the first healing that I've seen in a while. This game's always reminded you a bit of Gauntlet. Does it have a similar gameplay loop? Fey Rock Worm. With two shields, um, burrowing gains one shield every five turns, so a max of two, and it blinks around. Sounds kind of annoying. Treant, uh, it's the same. Treant also exists in Reef Wizard One, but they're pretty rare. I feel like this level could be extremely painful. That worries me a bit. But I could also use Oculus. Uh, I could I could do Oculus stuff to get rid of this and then just or this and this and these. Hmm. In that case, maybe I start here and I just I grab that later if I'm gonna grab it at all. Feeling a reroll. You think a reroll? Maybe. Um, I did it. Oh, changes the locations of the of the rifts. Cool. First reroll that I do in in the whole game. Okay, choir of angels. 
Immolate, Mercurize, and Invoke Savagery. I think that we would like Immolate, right? Fire Enchantment. Level is full of nasty stuff. Um, Two-Headed Snake Leech. Uh, yeah. Applies Poison for 5 turns. Hmm. It's immune to dark. I think that this is probably doable. The level... Oh, Void Phoenix! Maybe not so doable. A Snake Leech. You should have seen earlier the... Um, oh, you were probably here, right? Like, the Snake... Uh, or the Leech Void Bomber. That was wild. Dancing Blade. Pounds. 9 physical damage, 4 range leap attack. Haven't seen Wolves. Uh, floating Eyeball. Still does the same. Extremely evil enemy. Ice Lizard Lich. What's up with the Liches? At some point I'm gonna see like a Cultist Lich and it's not gonna die uh, from its thing. From its spell. I don't know about these levels. Um, I have to say that the fact that Red Deals no longer work uh, the way that you would expect them to is kind of um, jarring to me. Um, I guess that I can just get Hate Bolts at some point. Mm, it's a pretty good spell for the purposes of um, of dealing close levels. Uh, maybe I should, I should get that. Um, Summon an idol of burning sacrifice. Each turn, the idol consumes the lowest HP ally, uh, dealing fire damage to enemies near the sacrifice unit. The idol and the wizard are both legal sacrifices. I think that it um, probably has less HP than I do. It probably has 30 HP, like all like all of those. Um, you like the redeal change yourself? Yeah, I'm not saying that it's a bad change, but I'm saying that it's taking me a while to adjust to it. You know, Parophilia is now a lot more reasonable, considering that I have some pets. Just makes red deals less mandatory. Yeah, you can probably go through the game without red deals now. The thing is that I'm seeing a lot of fire stuff and I'm not seeing how I deal with those things. Um, maybe I should also get lightning. Maybe, maybe I get uh, Arc Lightning. Yeah, I can get it next turn, because next turn, uh, or like next level, I, I get 4 experience. Nice. Yeah, maybe I get Arc Lightning and I do stuff with Arc Lightning. Multi-Flash. Enervation. Arc Lightning heals allies instead of damaging them. Arc Lightning deals 4 arcane damage to all units in line of sight of each arc target. Wow, that could be very funny. Um, oh, this is new. Gates of Helheim. Someone's an elf spawners at a random location. You think it summons multiples, or it only summons one? I think it summons only one, because it has uh, 13 charges. So you're incentivized to spam, <laughs> to spam that, kind of. Man, this, this game has so many things. Um, this thing got uh, its level increased, why? Oh! Oh, because now it only now it all already has the the um, the bouncing effect. Like it, it has it by default. I see. After dealing dark and lightning damage, deals fire damage as well. Before dealing damage, removes three shields. If that shock kills one or more enemies, summon an electric zombie with HP equal to half the total HP of all slave enemies. Wow. Electric rotting zombie. 
It has lightning leap and melee attack and removes one max HP. And it deals two lightning damage to melee attackers. You like shield burn on dead shock so much? Yeah, that sounds like it could be very cool. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Uh, well, not confused, but like I'm kind of overwhelmed by <laughs> by like how different it is. It doesn't look different at all. It is wildly different. It is wildly strongly different. I think that we probably just go here. That's that's gotta be what I do, right? Um, Yeah, I go here, double flame burst gets the job done. Uh, kills this thing for sure. Kills all of the two-headed uh, snake liches. Something to make use of melting armor. Okay, let's see if Metallic got something new. Silver Spear is still around. Copper Shaft deals lightning damage to all enemies adjacent to the spear. I like that a lot. Um, Cast your Heavenly Blast on slain targets. Interesting. If there's already slain, why would you want to cast your Heavenly Blast? Um, this deals physical. Furnace of Sorcery. Summons a crossable pain which summons furnace hounds whenever you deal 100 damage with sorcery. That sounds so cool. Um, and yeah, it just describes the furnace hound. I don't like. I don't think that the description of the monster uh, should be here if you can just do this, because pretty much achieves the same thing, right? Furnace can cast your flame burst spell on five turn cooldown. Woof. Guess who has Flame Burst? Maybe I should get that. You think it hurts me? Do you think it, it's going to kill me with, with my own Flame Burst? Furnace also produces a Copper Imp every 30 damage. And the Hounds can cast your Magic Missile. Okay, I would like uh, Flames of Sorcery. That sounds very funny. So I'm probably gonna get this at some point. I'm glad that I checked this. It seems like a great way to blow yourself up. It probably will be. Armageddon Blade, yeah, uh, Grand Target Ally, a melee version of Annihilate, I have already seen that. Uh, Shrapnel Blast, Detonate Target Voltile, and it's adjacent, take 12, Explosion Fire 16 shards at random tiles and 4 tile burst, each shard deals 12. More Shrapnel, burn, Puncturing Blast, and Magnetize shards, okay, so pretty much the same upgrades uh, that it's always had. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and go here. And it should give me a spell, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get immolate. For two? What do you mean for two? What do you mean for two? Am I getting like a discount or something? Because like, I don't know if I want to spend two for that when I can just get it for two, right? It better be free. It better be free and that, like, better be a visual bug. I took three damage from something, but I don't know what it was. Uh, because I don't... I'm not poisoned. Pretty sure it's a bug and it's free. Yeah, like... No way to know since uh, no one has really played this, right? Oh, I'm 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 getting hit by this. Three arcane damage to enemy units in a nine tile radius. That's what's happen that's what's happening right now. Okay. Let's see if it's free. It's free, okay. Okay, that should be bug fixed a bit. Um 9 fire damage each turn for 8 turns. This damage increases by 3 each turn, because I have fire frenzy. Um, let 
This guy dealing 3 damage per turn is kinda pretty scary, not gonna lie. Damage taken, Void Phoenix 3. Yeah, it's nice that I won't have to worry about guessing what hit me uh, in this game. You summon that, right? Yeah. You revive, right? Death 6 um, melts walls. He is dying pretty good. Armor melted times 14. I think that this kills it. Yep. I'm a bit afraid of the Lich, not gonna lie. Or like, not the Lich, the Void Phoenix. <laughs> it's it's exciting that... Uh, that there's something as strong as this on Realm 10. Not gonna lie, like, that's super cool. Um, it's making me think a lot about this. This seems like it's probably gonna be a lot harder than Reef Wizard 1. Can I make it spread? I feel like I should be able to make Emulate spread. Dragon Soul? Nope. Emulate also affects a connected group of enemies, or Emulate deals half damage to units in a 3 tile radius around the target each turn. That sounds like it's probably the most exciting thing. Um, but I don't know if I want to spend a lot of resources on that. Alright, spooky, but very exciting. I am having such a blast with this, this is awesome. Uh, Orf chest, what is this? Also very small level. Not particularly difficult, Immortal Centaur, okay, I see. I see where you're going with that. Um, I might not be able to do... well. Ooh, Clay Gnome! Oh, I saw the gnome and I was like, oh, it must be like an iron gnome or something, like easy to deal with, and nah, probably not. They have so much HP, good resistance as they regen, and they are gnomes. Um, yeah, truly the embodiment of sheer evil. Um, sorcery spells and skills gain 25% damage, I like that. I like that, I might want to go there just because of that. Ghostly Werewolf. I don't want to go there. We're not going there. Uh, Trobler, <laughs> Trobler Lich. Use. Uh, I do have to say that the sprite is kind of messed up. Uh, it's only like a purple circle. You can kind of see the smile, but it's not the greatest color for the smile. Um, What's up with the turn count going up like crazy? Is that really gone? No, I don't think it's gonna affect this, right? So do I go here after all? I think I do because I have uh, I have shield treader skills, so it should be fine. Um, are things that are highly resistant to fire? Yeah, they are kind of resistant. Not, nothing is immune that I can see. Um, maybe I should get... Um, Starfire. Would be real cool if there was um, some way to get physical reveal or... For fire, uh, to take advantage of my melting armor, but I don't think that uh, exists. 
Okay, I'm gonna get Starfire. I hope that I am not throwing the game once again. At some point I should get some of these. Maybe I get... Ah, uh, but it deals holy instead of fire. No, no, no. We want, we want it to deal fire. Changing the base type of that is not great. Um... Okay, Sorcerer's Orb. Sorcerer's Spells and Skills gain 25% damage. Now this deals 50, this deals 12, and this deals nothing because it's not a sorcery. Short Nap and Reef Wizard has turned into Reef Wizard per release Reef Wizard 2. Yeah, I finished my um, my run in Reef Wizard 1 and now here we are playing Reef Wizard 2. Pretty exciting thing. I have to say that it's super nice that I have these uh, Time Striders. Upon entering a level, all enemies are stunned for one turn. That is big. I have no idea how my Farball is dealing such massive amounts of damage, but it is. Um, yeah, damage dealt Farball 59. In one turn, Farball dealt 59 damage. It's dealing 24, and it deals 24 again in the center. Uh, and and I don't know where, where the other damage is coming from. But ah, it, it's it's probably like this, right? Like Because it's hitting other things. Or at least that's what I think. Uh, it would be nice if I could have a little bit of extra range. At some point I should get Arch uh, Farlord or whatever it's called. So, I have to say that worms, or like not worms, gnomes are not a sea ball in this game as they would be in the Wizard 1. Because the pinging is not as bad as it is in Big Wizard 1, since you after all get a full heal, full mana every time you finish a level. Idol of Invincibility. Cool. Immobile. You think that all 3x3 three three enemies are gonna be immobile? The way that this is going, I'm starting to think that they all will be immobile because the level would have to accommodate a lot for them to move if they're not immobile. Um, Four fifty HP, two shield, mass protection, two turn cooldown. All allies gain one shield up to a max of three. It's not the end of the world. They do have to. Ooh, mystic power. Ooh, seating seal. Oh, I need that. How good would that be right now? Like in this level. Clay Vampire. It's resistant to fire. Level has a teleporter, so maybe I can start here, get Sitting Seal, and just teleport over here to get rid of this guy. And SP can go to Prince. Do I want Prince of Ruined in this level? I don't think so. Um, this level doesn't have anything that particularly makes me compelled to go for Prince of Ruin. Uh, what I do want is uh, Far Lord. Like, I really, really want that. I want to start getting my Lord spells so that this increases in damage a lot. Um, Ember Maker. That sounds exciting. Oh, Burning Polar Bear. <laughs> so funny. Whenever an enemy dies, summon a Firefly Swarm where it was. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, this is Ice Dark. We're not doing that. Each turn all allied units heal for 1 HP per 100 damage dealt to enemies by allied units. Oh, it replaces your helmet, so you can only have one helmet. Whenever a glassified enemy takes physical damage, it is unglassified and a glass fairy summoned. 
No. We're probably going to to this place with Seating Seal. Ooh, interesting. But I don't think that we can do it. Yeah, fiery, fire resistant enemies are proving to be quite the problem. Um, these... Um, oh, these are not even... Um, I, uh, these are not even icy slimes, they're icy green slimes. I wonder if um, icy slimes just straight up don't exist anymore and icy is a modifier for, for slimes that can result in, in this. Um, so they have Ice Ball, which freezes. This is already way more powerful than the other slimes. And they have the three poison melee attack. Upon reaching 110 HP splits into two slimes, they, they have a ton of HP. Huh. Interesting. Pretty cool. The low I don't know if you've already noticed, but these low HP enemies are kinda still worrisome. Like after all the damage from the fire virtues can accumulate. Um, they are kind of nerfed compared to the Reef Wizard 1 uh, incarnation. Still kind of scary. Mm. Night Hacks. Yeah, probably not. Definitely not going here because of the Night Hacks. Uh, but then you have enemies that get like a modifier and they have a lot more HP. Pretty interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Drop here. Teleport close to this thing, maybe here, and just like ba um, hit it as much as possible. And also um, let Seating Seal do its thing. Hopefully Seating Seal beats the level for me. Um, yep, let's go for it. I wonder what happens... Oh, it works! Okay, I was wondering if it was gonna hit, get hit every tile, or only once, and it gets hit every tile, because otherwise, how would you explain the obscene amount of damage that I just did to it? Yeah, so if I do this again, it dies, or if I do this, uh, it, it probably just straight up dies super badly. Um, it may not die from this, actually, but it's probably gonna take a ton of damage. I don't want this guy to hit me. Um, I don't think there's much that I can do about that, actually. Yeah, that's fine. I can always do that. Turns into a clay vampire bat. Uh, cool. Seal of Sitting has 658 charges. Um, I kind of want... Um, Chaos Seal? Nah, not, not really. Maybe Far Harvest. How would that work? I wonder if the Flame Spirit gains HP from my stuff. Physical would add to it? Mm, physical would add to it. So Fireball would add a lot uh, of damage to the Seating Seal, maybe. It's about to pop for 767. So if I recast it, uh, one fire damage to all enemies in Lion's Head for every five charges it has. Uh, let's recast it. Okay, it killed everything. Ho ho ho, and it gained a ton of charges. Okay, does it deal damage to enemies? It deals damage to enemies, so... Yeah, uh, pretty good. Uh, where did these things come from? Let's get rid of them. Beautiful. Alright, it's so nice that we got Seating Seal for free. Uh, now we have enough experience to get uh, Far Lord. Right now, this deals 12 and 50, okay? This deals 3. Now this deals 23, 80, and 10. <laughs> Big upgrade. Huge upgrade. And I think that the next thing that we are going to get is uh, Arch Sorcerer. And then this integrator. Oh, this integrator is gonna be. Oh, this integrator! I just realized. Melting armor plus this integrator. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I might just get this before Arch Sorcerer. Uh, that sounds so cool. Maybe also a Commander at some point, but for now, like, yeah, oh, I wonder how many levels this game has. Void Oculus, what is that? Does that it, does that give the Oculus effect to... Whenever an enemy unit takes Dark Arcane damage, it gets minus. Ah, boo, why, what is that? That is not an Oculus. Imp Maker. Whenever an enemy dies, summon a Fire Imp. Okay, not particularly exciting. You think Rift Wizard 2 is 20 levels? Idol of Fighty Vengeance. So now the idols have a ton of um, a ton of HP instead of the 30 HP that they used to have, and that's the three by three enemies, or at least it seems so for now. Does that mean that whenever I summon, oh, I don't have the ability to summon an idol of Fighty Vengeance, right? But there was an idol that I could summon, right? Burning Idol. You think this Idol of Burning Sacrifice would be a 3x3? No way it would be a 3x3 with 450 HP. Because that would just straight up kill you on a lot of situations. Oh, I would like to try it, but I am not gonna risk my first run of this game to, to find out. Um, You think this game is gonna have a draft of memories? That too is uh, interesting. Clay Spark Spirit. <laughs> what does this have? Far Helm. One range and 25% damage, 25 resistance to fire. We replace Far Frenzy Mask. You think this is uh, good enough? I think that it, that I would prefer 25% extra damage over um, 2 damage for 6 turns on this. Rift Wizard 2 is out already. I got an early copy uh, courtesy of the developer. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dylan, for the early copy. I've been enjoying it a lot. Yeah, um, I pretty much spent the first hour just looking at, uh, at spells and skills. <laughs> And like the differences, it's it's so cool. Uh, I'm enjoying it a, a good amount indeed. I wonder if um, round 15 onwards will have like five experience or so. These guys are gonna be very annoying. Ghostly Living Scrolls of Farvel. I guess that I'm doomed to to pay with HP when it comes to those. Uh, I don't like this level, it's too closed. This level is more doable because it's not too close, and now I have Seeding Seal to destroy it. And this level, yeah, too closed, okay. So I guess we're going to a level that doesn't really give me anything other than an Earthquake Orb. I can probably grab uh, one of these items, but it doesn't really do a lot. Um, Better than ignoring them, like uh, like I would ignore a shrine that doesn't do anything for my build. Oh wait, these guys are immune to fire. No, why? There's a lot of them. Okay, I have to. Oh, ether dagger. Okay, okay, I have to get something to deal with those guys. Like um, like you know this um, this disintegrator skill. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be so cool once I get it. Greedy reroll? Nah, nah, nah. After the ice build yesterday, I'm going for a fire build today. Yeah, fire build and Rift Wizard 2. I'm trying to win it in my first attempt because that is uh, what I did on Rift Wizard 1. So I'm trying to replicate the the um, the feet. Yeah, the feet. I I was uh, struggling to remember how that was called. The feet. Um, oh, what happened with my Seeding Seal? I cast it, right? Did it pop? No way it popped. Didn't I cast it before going into the level? Maybe that kind of thing doesn't work anymore. 
Okay, I'm getting hurt by this guy. This is getting kinda worrisome, because I was working under the impression that I had this and it was about to pop, but it was not about to pop, in fact. Do I teleport away from this? Because I think that this is kinda destroying me. I don't even know how this thing got close to me. Each turn, 50% chance to blink to a random tile to 3 tiles away, that's what happened. Arcane Orb. Deal 11 arcane damage to the target. 11 arcane damage, 12 range. That is also hurting me. Huh. Wow, the orbs are a lot stronger now. I might want to do an orb run uh, in that case. Pretty good. Um, phew. I did have to use a teleporter, but that went very well. Now let's see what we got here. Um, Nah, nah, I mean, I guess I, I'm gonna take this, but I'll throw it away at some point. Ooh, Fountain of Venom. Each turn extend poison duration by one on each poison enemy and poison each other enemy. That's kind of brutal. Um, Arcane Wand. Cool. Lightning Wand. Or Storm Oculus. I can't believe the Oculus doesn't give the crazy oculus range. Um, scroll skills. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. So you just drop onto a, onto a level and you get a three level skeleton skill. Wow. <laughs> that is so crazy. Uh, you know, the reason why this is so cool is because it lets it, like, in this case, I can grab that, and then I can do, um, I can do void skills, or, like, stuff like that, like, Blink gets uh, a lot of benefit from this, gets two range, two charges, um, or I can get Translocation Master, five charges and 25% range, um, yeah, Blink would be pretty useful with that. I'm probably gonna go there and grab Translocation Master. Uh, Chaos Bone Shambler Gate. Seriously? Chaos Bone Shambler Gate? Warlock Spawner. Someone's a Warlock. What is a Warlock? Oh, you are a Warlock. You used to be an Imp Collector. Now you're a Warlock. Kills Bone Shambler Spawner. So you can get uh, spawners that have a modifier. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, because... Um... Wow, that's so nice. Man, this game is so different. This is incredible. I am having such a blast. Yeah, you remember the other day when I was saying that uh, I was, like, not fearful for Reef Wizard 2? Like, I knew that Reef Wizard 2 was just gonna be Reef Wizard 1, but better. And yeah, I am... I am being proven right as, as every turn passes. Um, this is incredible. I'm, I'm having such a good time. This is so good. Um, I think that we what we do here is drop onto some experience, get this integrator, and then, well, maybe here. Drop onto some experience, get this integrator, or maybe here. No, here is the best. Yeah, and get this integrator and we just disintegrate all over the floor, right? 
Uh, this could be a bit worrisome. Metallic Flame Rift Spawner. Might be very difficult to kill. Hmm. Might be very difficult to kill indeed. Okay, what if we drop and we stopwatch to avoid the spam of Metallic Flame Rifts? But I do want to... Okay, so, okay, we drop here. This gives me a range of, of this thing. And I can... Um... Yeah, and I can kill it uh, just fine. I can just perma-stun it, right? I can perma-stun it with Fireball. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um... Sorcery, Disintegrator... I got poisons. Uh, oh no, I thought that these were health arachnomancers, uh, or whatever they're called in Rift Wizard 1, and it turns out that there's something entirely different that just happens to look the same. Poison Solemn is in line of sight for 3 turns. <laughs> That's kind of brutal, especially combined with the Watchers. Um... Oh, you're about to die! I am astonished at the sheer damage output. Ooh, this integrator, Del, how much? Oh my, this is so good. Ah, oh, no wonder. Okay, okay. So I think we're fine. Wow, this is so cool. All of these sims are friendly. Ah, uh, uh, I am getting them from from this uh, thing that I just picked up, right? That I underrated. All of these guys are friendly. And it says Fire Imp, but it doesn't make only Fire Imps, right? Yeah, it doesn't, say, it doesn't make only Fire Imps. Look at this guy. And I was wondering where those Imps were coming from. Um, You know what would be really, really funny to have right now? Prince of Ruin. Uh, the Watchers are still very powerful, I see. Um, they do the same. Okay, I think we have beat the level. Jodo seems to spawn more imps. It seems to be the case. Uh, Cynic Seal killed some stuff, but... I think the star of the show is this integrator here. And because of this integrator, we get Chaos Seal now. We get it with the experience in this level and the first of the next level. We're almost done, I just I just wait now. And yeah, I think that the imps spawn more imps. So maybe Imp Maker is not as silly as I thought it was. Yeah, the imps spawn more imps. Uh, because you get imps whenever an enemy dies. This is extremely funny. <laughs> Okay, so we were going to get Translocation Master here. I still intend on getting it. Yeah, just casual Translocation Master for free. Okay, and as I suspected, level 15 is going to give me 5 experience. <clears throat> Giant Sack of Field. It has 2k HP. Uh, I feel like when it comes to these things, they should just have round 2k HP. Um, instead of 1987, unless that number means something. Spawns 9 bag of box with double S. Archon here might help those sims a lot. But does it even do anything for my guy? Maybe it's someone's birth year. Yeah, maybe it's someone's birth year. But Dev's birth year, you think? Maybe Dev's birth year. Giant Sack doesn't say mobile? It doesn't say in mobile. Uh, I think that it can only generate on levels like these, then. How hard does it hit? Does it even have a melee attack? It doesn't. You would expect this kind of thing to actually hit you for 200 dark. Like, not Mordred. Mordred, why would Mordred hit you for 200 dark? This thing would hit you for 200 dark. 
Okay, it's the first 3x3 enemy that doesn't say in mobile. That's so exciting. All those flies will turn immediately into imps. Yeah, maybe I should uh, think about getting... Uh, does it still exist? I see Vengeance. Wow, Shutter Shards is exactly the same as it was in Rift Wizard 1 after the nerf. That's cool. Frostbite. This got buffed, I think. I think in Rift Wizard 1 this dealt more damage. Same. Pretty much the same. I never really used this, so I cannot tell the difference. This is cheaper now. Uh, I think it was 5 cost in Rift Wizard 1, but I'm not sure. This is the same, I think. And the same... the same? Take ice damage equal to help the dead minions match HP? Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. But yeah, maybe Icy Vengeance with Deems would be uh, silly. Um, but what I really want to get next is um, some sort of mobility spell. After all, I just got Translocation Master. Um, yeah, we would get Blind Casting, of course. Um, Six charges? No, eleven charges. It's actually more than that, because... Okay, I don't have it yet, but I also would like to get... Uh, translocation... Uh, well, this, this game does not have circles anymore, so might as well just get it now. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, some, some decent range. I wish it was a lot more, but... We can uh, we can fix that later. Pillar of Worms. Hey, look at this guy. In Rift Wizard One, I think this guy had 300 HP. It's nice to see that it's finally uh, an enemy uh, that, like, you know, a big enemy. Okay, all of these gates are normal. Um, Mind Maggot Queen. Oh, wow. Wow, I thought that it was gonna be small. I didn't expect it to be a 3x3 enemy. Uh, it seems that whenever a 3x3 enemy generates, the game does generate a way for it to be able to move through the level. It would be interesting if they could just, like, break the walls and not care about the walls. I feel like they should have a lot more physical damage, or like a lot more melee damage. Like if they have a melee attack, these 3 by 3 enemies, it should deal a ton of damage. Um, because it's a big enemy after all, like, are you really expecting this thing to deal 14? Like, come on, the wizard fits in its mouth, like nothing. It should deal more than 14. Um, it's kind of scary, however. This level is kind of scary. I probably don't want to go there after all. I... Uh, this level is also really spooky. I feel like I could maybe do it. And this level... is... looks kinda rough. Um, okay, I can start here. And I do see the entirety of the gates. But I don't know how easy it would be to survive for that long. Uh, to the port the target to a random location up to 5 tiles away, and it has a leap attack, so yeah, this guy would ruin everything. Uh, I don't want to go there then. Uh, no. Also, I think I saw Point Phoenix. Yeah, I already had dealt with one of those. Um, I guess th this is where we go. Uh, this level is extremely dangerous. If I do not, like... Um, <clears throat> they have 180 HP? Why? Why do these guys have 180 HP? Um, they used to have 90. Now, now they have double, I guess. Okay, let's try this thing as well. I'm gonna precast it, and then go into this level and see what happens. It did disappear. Okay. Okay, it did disappear. Ooh! When you enter the level, your stuff is reset. So not only when you finish the previous level, when you enter the next level, your stuff is reset. Um, okay, so now... 
I think that maybe we flame burst once or twice, and that actually gets rid of the level because of the whole disintegrator thing that I have going. Okay, I didn't get frozen, that's nice. And yeah, I did kill almost everything. I took seven from... Oh, look at this guy, it's like the Dreamer. Idol of Insanity. 50% chance to teleport each other unit up to four squares away each turn. Um, what they'll damage to me? Damage taken, Chaos Large, Worm Ball. Probably seven. Yeah, I killed everything. Damage dealt, Flame Burst. 2k, uh, Disintegrator 627, Starfire dealt more, Fiery Judgment. Um, goodbye. Okay, let's get rid of this thing as well. I... It's wildly misleading, because this thing only deals 34. But all things applied, it doesn't deal only 34. Also, the fact that it's 3x3 three three enemies makes it so that, like, they take crazy damage from my explosions. This is so cool. One cast killed an entire level with one flame burst on level 15. Yeah, it's not equivalent to the level 15 that you would see in Brief Wizard 1, because I've gotten a ton more experience, but... Yeah, that was really cool. Killed almost the entirety of the level except for the big monsters. Um, very funny that Imp Maker doesn't make Fire Imps. It makes Imps of all varieties. Um, and it is crazy strong. Yeah, I cannot believe it. When I saw it, originally I didn't think it was crazy strong, but it turns out that it is. Um, you think this would help, Archcon here? I don't think it would help. I see that the wizard is hiding, um, or like blocking some stuff, blocking some of my skills. It's uh, um, kind of cool that now this space is uh, is used for something. Yeah, like the wizard right here. I can probably hide it for now. And also that as well. Help Sims? You think it actually helps Sims? Are you guys a fire spell? You have less than four hellhounds. I'm on a hellhound. I feel like this is very good. Uh, the Hellhounds are immune to fire, so they would actually uh, stick around. I'm gonna grab these instead of um, instead of Archcomputer because I'm I don't know if Archcomputer would help for the Imps. What? Ghostly Grand Warlock. Cool. Why is it so resistant? Star Swimmer. The first victims randomly up to four tiles away. Not a healing potion. Yeah, uh, healing potions are an incredible resource in this game. Like, incredibly valuable. I have only two, and I think I just started the game with one. I haven't used them, too. <laughs> That's a packed level. I feel like I can do it. Um... Star Swimmer Spawner and Mind Vampire Spawner. Yeah, I feel like I just drop in in here or so and I just kill everything, right? With Flame Burst. Now it deals 80. Um, we're pretty close to being able to get um, Arch Sorcerer as well. After, after this level I'll get that and it will be really cool. Ah, Giant Mass of Ice. 9 arcane damage, 99 range 3 radius. Jeez. On death spawn, 9 mass of ice. Oh, look at that. Death chiller. Summon death chill chimera. Ice bolt, death bolt. Immune to ice, dark, and poison. Whenever an ally dies, it deals 6 ice damage up to 3 random enemies in a 5 tile. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, that's pretty strong. Um. It's funny, like, I don't want to go to that level, because you have to kill this, and you have to kill this at the start. Um, this is probably more of a priority, but, like, if, if I was to start close to it, and, like, kill it with a couple of flame bursts, uh, this thing would uh, kind of kill me super badly.
Ghostly Glass Golem um, Chaos Boy Toad. What's up with uh, those um, cool spawners? Uh, like, you know, the ones with 200 HP? I thought that they were gonna be more common in the late game. But anyway, this is where we're gonna be going. Um, okay, here it goes. I hope that this doesn't get me killed. Okay, took 7 damage. Uh, once again from Chaos Large Worm Ball. Um, oh, these worms are... Uh, well, I guess it should be fine, this integration shri Disintegrator Shrine. Mm, okay, so what happens here? Do you think all of these guys are gonna attack me? Are they immune to fire from the get-go? Because it says burrowing 100 resistance to fire. I don't know what, what that uh, is supposed to mean. You know, I would rather not lose the run um, at this point, so I'm just gonna go for that. And then do this. Mm. That works fine. Yeah, they're immune. They're immune, alright. Killing them is gonna take me a bit. I think that I can speed up the process by using a lot of spikes. Okay, I took some damage again. Once again, Chaos Large Worm Ball. Ah, they have an explosion attack, so they're shooting at stuff. Um, I'm getting hit in the crossfire. Okay. So... The game has a lot of fire immune, or well, not, not necessarily fire immune, but you know what I mean. Uh, immune monsters. But it still has... Uh, or, or rather, the other way around. Like, the game got rid of the of the reveals by passing immunities, but it still has a lot of immune monsters. I guess that you're incentivized to go for multiple spell schools now, and that's why you just sometimes get free level 7 skills uh, from the levels. Tanky worms. Yeah, the only way for me to kill them is to to shoot them with fireball. Um, we should be almost done. I don't know which ones of these are my allies and which ones aren't, so I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, speed up the process. Games look game looks more complicated than the first. Agreed. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Another king. Uh, we were gonna get Arch Sorcerer. There was a thing that gave me radius, right? Oh, but it was um, something that I ended up not getting. Anyway, Arch Sorcerer. Idol of Fighty Vengeance. Mind Vampire Lich Spawner. Yeah, so when a spawner generates a monster with a modifier, it is uh, it has 200 HP. Fountain of Venom, Chaos Frosty Tormentor, Clay Cockatrice. Um, we probably don't want to go there, even though it has a stopwatch. We probably don't want to go there. This level also has a stopwatch. Exotic Pets. Start each level with an Insanity Fin Lich? <laughs> with a Burning Mass of Ice or with a Ghostly Fleshy Mass? Uh, these are some cool exotic pets. Um, I like that a lot.
ghostly fleshy mass sounds insane. Immune to physical and massive regen. Yeah, um, unfortunately it's gonna take a ton of damage from my flame burst, right? Oh, I didn't even see what this has. Uh, scroll of skills. Holy water, icy vengeance. Icy vengeance. And master of space. All spells and skills gain two range? All spells and skills gain one radius. That's a skill that exists. It's an arcane skill that exists. And it affects everything. That is so cool. I... Ooh, Master of Memories. All spells and skills gain one charge. Wow. That is so cool. I'm so glad that this game exists. Yeah, like uh, Multimancy. All spells and skills gain 50% number of targets. That... Wow. So Arcane is kind of... It got a big buff, like... Um, yeah, it seems like everything that I like is better if I go into Arcane. I should have gotten this at, at some point, but... Uh, I can get it now. Yeah, if I go here, I can get it. If I go here, however... I feel like I may not be able to do the level. Or the level might be super scary. Did you look if Void Beam has a radius upgrade? Oh, fingers crossed. It's still not too late for that to, to, to happen. Like, it can still get a radius upgrade. Void Binding. Slayed enemies are raised as Void Bombers. Okay, that's kind of a radius upgrade, but not quite. Star Beam. Void Beam also deals far damage. Cool. Void Curse. Enemies in the AoE lose 25 arcane resistance. Boo, no radius upgrade. Literally just give one radius to this spell and it's gonna be so good. Oh, also it went from level 3 to level 4. Huh. Why is that? Arcane shield blink combo is still in. Arcane Shield Blink combo. Yeah, Arcane Shield Blink. Should I get that? I kinda wanna go here, but... Oh, I just got Arch Sorcerer. This seems like pretty nice uh, blink range um i don't think i want to go there like if i want to do that i would do it with um with melting flame melting flame only costs two cool spraying flame still costs seven i kind of wanted to do that but it hasn't really been a necessity Do you think I can kill the clay cockatrices in two actions? Uh, remember it's two actions because I have a free turn. So I can drop here and just like... Um, well, flame burst, flame burst, and I think that kills a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it kills the, flame, the clay cockatrices, but I would like to believe that it would. <clears throat> and then we go from there. Uh, we have an oculus, I've been carrying this for a while. So we can probably use the Oculus to snipe the gates with Fireball. Yeah, I think that this is this is where we go. And we also get a Master of Space as a nice reward, or Icy Vengeance. Both of those are very strong for, for what I'm trying to do. It's almost as if the game is listening to what I am saying and is giving me uh, what I would like to get. Sweet. <laughs> that thing turned into an Iron Imp in one cast. And as I suspected, the clay cockatrice didn't die. Um, but it, they're pretty hurt, so if I do this again, they're just gonna die. Okay, now we... Um... Okay. 
I don't understand. Oh, yeah, these are not friendly. These are enemy imps. Do they have a uh, undead spawn 10 imps? That's funny. It's fine, because I can just do that and turn them into friendly imps. Okay, so Master of Space or Icy Vengeance. Which one should it be? I'm gonna get Master of Space. But Icy Vengeance is a bit more expensive. I'm gonna get Master of Space. Who am I joking? Or who, who am I trying to fool? Uh, I'm gonna get Master of Space. Um, I give up? No, don't give up. This game is too cool to give up. Just look at the crazy thing that I'm doing right now. You got to 24 again and literally could not win in any way. The Mordet fight is really hard. Uh, don't beat yourself over it. It is uh, it is on another level. Why does everything have to have 500 plus life and reincarnate? Um, do you know of this wonderful spell called... Soul Tax? Deal damage to target unit equal to one third of its health as holy damage and then one third of its remaining health as dark damage. Heal the caster for the total amount of damage dealt. So this is literally a full heal against those monsters. Uh, it's really, really cool. Oh, there's a Golden School spell now? Someone's a Golden School. Cool. Turbo Tax? Yeah, Tax is so strong. Like, on, on the challenge run that um, that had everything get 300% the normal amount of HP, Soul Tax was uh, kind of okay. There were about 10 Phoenixes and Odin and you had no more Portal Disruptors. You used everything you had to dodge bad levels. That could be really rough. Yeah, like for the final levels, you really have to go in there and like actually take over the level the moment you land on it. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing about Reef Wizard 1, but it does make it pretty punishing if you're doing, like, if you're improvising or, or like, trying to make things up as you go. My poor friendly mortal troll. It has suffered so much abuse. Okay, wow! <laughs> the range on this is so good. And we're done. That went very well. When I entered the level, I was not so sure because of the cockatrices, but I don't think that I... Like, the imp staff helped... It, it, like, this is actually being incredibly powerful. Um, it makes a bunch of stuff that then dilutes the chance that you're actually gonna get hit. I don't think I took a sing... No, I did take some damage. Ten Void Knight, one Yeti. Still, considering that this level had cockatrices on it, that went pretty well. Getting to some pretty absurd power levels here. Yes, it's going pretty well. Um, and it's... it's. I can feel that it is strong. <laughs> Immortal item fiend, I don't want to have anything to do with that. Uh, it is different from the power level in Rift Wizard 1, but you can still feel that you're really strong. Um, yeah, it, it's like you're really strong in uh, in a way that resembles my first run in Rift Wizard 1, funnily enough. Like, my first run in Rift Wizard 1, I had no build, I was just blinking around like crazy, managing line of sights. It took me like like five or six hours to actually win the game in my first attempt. Um, I played extra careful, but it was, it was possible. And I also survived because of um, Portal Key. Uh, and a teleporter, which I haven't seen here. Maybe portal keys don't exist anymore. Uh, uh, um, I see Tom Trinket. Nope. Nope. Your summon allies deal 6 fire damage to melee attackers. Maybe. 
I wonder if that gets enhanced by by Arch Sorcerer. Or not by Arch Sorcerer, by Fire Lord. It says spells and skills, but does it take equipment into account? That's why I didn't want to grab um, the other thing, you know? Um, like uh, Arch Conheater, I think it's called. I didn't want to grab it because I didn't know if it would enhance this, the equipment. Your first Mordred fight was almost trivialized because you were holding like five stop watches. Jeez. Yeah, sometimes you just get crazy lucky with your with your loot. I've never had that many stop watches, but I do like to get Prince of Ruin every time. Metallic Void Knight. Looks pretty cool. I always wondered if the Void Knight sprite looking like that was uh, intentional or not, but I think it is intentional. Like it looks like like it is pretty intentional. Fey Iron Fiend Spawner. And this has Arcane Helm. Elven Chain Mail. I don't think I have a rope, so maybe grabbing a rope would be nice. Robo Storms? No. Fire Wand. Will replacement maker. Wands I see are uh pretty strong. 2 radius, 3 damage, 1 range, 50% duration. Um, haven't been casting Immolate in a very long time. But I might still want to go here and, and grab these instead of the Imps. Everything is more powerful now, enemies and players alike. I think it's it's kind of weird. Like, there are some enemies that are... Whoa, these guys have 700 HP and 3 shields. That's... It's doable. I feel like I can do it. Yeah, somehow I am actually really powerful. Um, the enemies are a lot more powerful, like, you didn't get to see stuff like this, especially large amounts of stuff like this in a level. Like, if there was something with a lot of HP, it was usually, like, unique. Uh, when it comes to you, I think that you are more powerful in the sense, like, in the late game you get so much more experience, you get so many more skills. Um, Wow, at some point I got four healing potions, that's really nice. I'm gonna put them to good use uh, for the end game. So far I still haven't used a single one. Um, I have used mana potions, but I think I only used one or two. Um, anyway, I think that this is where we go. You know, it's a shame that I cannot precast Sitting Seal. Um, yeah, sure, I'll do it. I hope that I do not come to regret this. Okay. Yeah, it's not out until until a week from now. I got early access from the developer. Um, yeah, let's do this. Sweet. Damage dealt. 905 and 721 Disintegrator. Fighting Judgment dealt good damage. Starfire barely... Um, dealt any damage. Do I have chastisement? Is that a thing that still exists? No! Oh, it does, but it costs 6 now. <laughs> yeah, because right now chastisement would be kind of good. It's a shame that I don't hit that. Okay, it's fine. You know, they have a lot of HP, though they don't deal that much damage, but on the other hand, I also don't have that much HP. So their damage is actually a lot more uh, impactful. Wow, this hits for 20. That may be... Um, maybe it's a thing that I don't want to be next to. Ouch. Did I get stunned? Ah, uh, I got stunned. Okay. Okay, careful. Careful now. We don't want to die. Uh, do they do that thing passively? Like the meteors? Level is bugging out? No. What's happening is that the volcano turtles is are landing meteors, and whenever they land meteors, they make they make um, tiles of floor. It works like that when you cast your meteor uh, shower spell. In this game, it's called Rain of Fire. I wonder if this can hit you. Chaos Storm. 
Each Meteor casts your Annihilate on three enemy units within 4,000. Man, this looks... This game looks like it has so many cool things uh, to try. Well, I have to use a healing potion, because I, otherwise I think I might be dead. These guys have so much HP. It's, it is actually being uh, an issue that they have so much HP. These guys are also immune to fire. Uh, they are actually 150% resistant to fire for some reason. So no wonder I'm not killing them with flame burst. Okay, they're dead. Okay, my fireball is more like firestorm now. Does, ma does that mean they heal from fire? Fortunately, it is not the case. Oof! That was scary. So I hear that this has 20 levels, huh? Uh, I have a lot of experience. Okay, 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 okay. We have a spell that we need to get. It is very important. It is a spell that holds everything together every time. And it's Word of Chaos. Yeah, there's Blood Magic. Blood Magic costs, ma costs, costs HP. Um, like, uh, there's... Uh, the, the one that I saw that I was like, that's wild, is this one. Um, because I saw that it was level 5, and it was like, wow, fleshy masses at level 5, that's crazy. But it also costs 80 HP. So, yeah, everything in Blood Magic costs um, costs HP. But every time you finish a level, you get back all of your spell charges and all of your HP. So, yeah, that's balanced by the fact that you get a lot less healing and mana potions. Um, it's pretty cool. Chaos Fiend Sigil. Probably not. Burning Elf Lightning Artists. Ah, these guys made it to Rip Wizard 2, I see. Burning Goblin Wizard. Is everything burning in this level? Burning Phoenix? Burning Iron Fiend? Anyway, I shouldn't go here because everything is immune to fire. Ooh. Flesh Colossus. With 9006 HP. And it regens 21 HP per turn. Um... It's super weak to physical and holy. Mm, I see that Reapers are still in the game. I don't know how impactful this is, because once again, flame burst. But it might be a lot more exciting uh, for, for a build that's not casting flame burst, right? Does it take damage from every tile it occupies? It does. It does, because otherwise it would be very difficult to kill them. Yes, it, it would take obscene amounts of damage from Flame Burst. It will also take obscene amounts of damage from Seeding Seal. Reapers are scary, of course they would be in the sequel. Ooh, Idol of Fiends. For every 100 damage dealt, summon a Tormentor. For every 666, summon a Fiend. This includes damage that you deal and damage that you receive. I see Towering Bone Shambler. Oof. You know, having monsters with a modifier that freezes you is pretty nasty. Um, this has Wall of Ice, Spider Queen, Cantrip Cascade, and Underworld Passage. Mm. Well, I feel like if you were to get I, uh, Cantrip Cascade, you were already... Like, by this point, you would already have it, right? Like, it's not something that's gonna make you pivot. Immortal Mask Wizard. It has 14 shields and it reincarnates twice. That is so evil. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not particularly dangerous, but it is more annoying than anything. And it could also blink me into a Reaper and kill me instantly. All three of these are kind of bad. I'm gonna reroll. I hope that I have not died uh, or like thrown the game because of that. Can you dominate him? You can dominate him. Um... Arcane, Enchantment, Dominate, 40 max HP, um, you can make it 80, um, 
yeah, you can dominate that guy. And that's probably the way to go. I don't know how it works. Um, it would be interesting. Maybe I should have tried to do that, since I have the experience after all. Soul jars, um, non-construct allies. Uh, Troll blooded steel spider queen spawner. <laughs> These enemies are, are like, uh, these things are so loaded. I believe that I'm approaching the end because these levels look like Rome 23, 24 in, in Reef Wizard. Ah, Yggdrasil is a huge enemy now. It has a lot more HP. Grow Thorns, 100 range. So, three Fate Thorns near the player. Heals a random damaged ally for 30 HP each turn. Jeez. Uh -huh. and it still kills you pretty fast. And this is underwhelming. Like, I really do feel like it should deal a lot more damage than 14. Like, come on, are you trying to tell me that this thing that can eat the wizard deals only 14 damage? I don't know about that. Claw Reaper, Clay Reaper Spawner. Oof. Dealing with these fiends is gonna be kinda troublesome. Um, you think Idrasil dies to one flame burst? Me too, me too. It's weak to fire and weak to holy. Yeah, it's gonna absolutely cease to exist with one flame burst. Uh, I, I really want to go here just to see that. Uh, can I get the charges? Yeah, let's just get the charges on World of Chaos. And I cannot get the damage. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know about this whole thing about uh, only being able to get one upgrade for, for the spells. For some it makes sense, for some it doesn't make us, uh, any sense. This integrator should wreck after Yggdrasil dies, right? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't kill the level. It did kill the two big guys. Uh, it kind of... Um, did deal some good damage, but it didn't kill everything. You know it's incredibly early, but you like it better than one so far? I think they're very different. Like, believe it or not, they're different enough that I could see myself playing one as well. Like, I would certainly miss the quality of life stuff. Like, come on, this targeter should make it into Reef Wizard 1. Like, there's no excuse for this not to be in Reef Wizard 1. Like, this beautiful targeter. This beautiful targeter. Uh, different may be good for you. I think that this is harder than Reef Wizard 1. That too. But then again, it might be the lack of familiarity uh, with the game. But this seems harder. Um, yeah, like the fact that uh, red deals don't no longer work the way they used to work in Reef Wizard 1 means that some. Uh, levels like these are gonna be quite complicated. I really need to get like uh, Arc Lightning. I feel like Arc Lightning could help me a bit, but it might be too late for for pivoting. Uh... Oh, you don't see the rifts after until you're done with the level. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Uh... You hope I fight the first Reef Wizard instead of Mordred? But I am the blue Reef Wizard. I, I think that I am the first Reef Wizard. Reef Wizard 3, maybe you get to be Mordred and run around with 700 HP and 7 shields? That would be so broken. Uh, so, fortunately for me, World of Chaos. Uh, deals lightning damage to fire enemies, and fire damage to lightning enemies, and these guys, these guys are fire. Um, the Furnace Fiends, and uh, only the Furnace Fiends resist lightning. The Fire Fiends uh, and Ash Fiends do not. So, I think that would greatly speed up the process of beating this level. This Reef Wizard, like Goku, he just keeps going up and up in power. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it.
Oh, that guy just straight up died. How did I kill it? Fireball 55? Oh, I just... I just figured something important out. Fireball deals damage with the Meteor, and then that... Uh, should should a player be deal? No, because it takes fire. Yeah, whenever an enemy takes fire, it is then redoubt half that damage, holy damage. Whenever an enemy uh, takes fire, redeal half that damage as arcane damage. I wonder why this is written like this and this is written like this. It is then redealt half that damage, holy damage. Redeal half that damage as arcane damage. You're here from YouTube? Uh, what you see in YouTube is pretty much what I do here on Twitch, uh, except for very rare occasions. Thank you for, for stopping by and the follow, I appreciate it. We're close to the end of my first Rift Wizard 2 run. One way or the other, we're close to the end. Uh, this unfortunately doesn't do anything. Like, it really is kind of frustrating that it doesn't do anything. Maybe I should get a Bright Flame? Yeah, because as much as I like my reveals, my reveals are literally doing nothing. Uh, so maybe I should get Bright Flame. Uh, but I think it would be more cool if uh, Bright Flame worked this way. If the enemy is immune to fire, it deals holy. Otherwise, it deals fire. I think that would be really, really cool, because even against enemies that are highly resistant to fire, uh, because of the reveals, I feel like you would still be interested in, in dealing fire damage instead of holy. Um, but I do have to say that what I'm saying is just describing what would be perfect for my situation. Um, I might still get it, because like in this case it would be perfect. Um, Word of Chaos number 2. Gets rid of a bunch of guys. Doesn't kill everything, but everything is pretty damaged, uh, so I can probably finish them off without a lot of complications. I have so much range on my fireball. It has 14 range. It's so comedic. Really. What does what does the emulate upgrades do? Um Oh yeah, we have already seen them. They're not particularly great for what I'm trying to do today. Long range, big explosion, fireball. Yeah, I tell you, it's more like Firestorm uh, than fireball now. <clears throat> and there we go. 11 fireballs, 6 blinks, 2 ward of chaos, and 1 flame burst. And the flame burst was still the thing that dealt the most damage. Hmm, pretty good. Okay, this is round 20. Doesn't look like the end. Unless maybe this is the final boss. It does have 40,000. Who oh, cannot take more than 700 damage in one turn? Okay, maybe it is the end. Maybe it is the end. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow! Okay, this guy has Word of Chaos as well, my signature spell. Yeah, this, are, this is definitely the end. This level... Oh! Oh! Maybe it's not the end. Look at this. This level has a gate. Or a rift. Does this level also have a rift? This level doesn't. Unless it's hidden behind this guy, of course, but I don't think so. Um, exciting. Enemy units lose 25 resistance to a random damage type for 8 turns. I assume that it does that every turn. Um, the giant bag of bags thing was hiding a rift earlier. Any passive immunities you can pick up? Passive immunities... Um, you can get resistances from gear. Right now I don't I don't have any gear that gives resistances, but you can get resistances from, from gear. Yeah, I have only boots and a helmet and a staff. Uh, but you can also get armor. Let 
me take a look at this gear. Cannibal Mask. We have a living ally a dies, a random wounded ally of the three tiles receives a uh, healing equal to the dead ally's max HP. Stone Mask. Resistance to physical. Petrify random and petrify them in line of sight for three turns. Sork Winter. For every 75 damage dealt to enemies with sorcery spells, automatically cast Death Chill on a random enemy. That's cool. I wonder if that casts a non-upgraded Death Chill, or if it doesn't do anything unless you have Death Chill. Interspells and skills gain 10 minion health, that doesn't do a lot for me. And this has... Blood spells and skills gain 1 range, blood spells and skills gain 30% damage. Sorcery spells and skills gain 3 minion damage. Minion damage, and 1 radius for dark spells and skills. I kind of want to go here. Uh, this is resistant to fire, physical, and lightning. Each turn summons 3 snakes, and taking damage gain 10% of that. Uh, then gain 10% resistance to that damage type for 1 turn. Oof. I don't know which one is more difficult to kill between German Garden and. Um, and Pope the Frog, because Pope the Frog does say take cannot take more than 700 damage in one turn. Still, 30% of the target's current HP and redistributes equally among the allies of the Frog Pope. This does not count as damage, and this never kills the target. Jeez, Hop 35 damage. Hops up to 10 tiles away and deals 35 physical damage to adjacent enemies. This is so scary, I don't want to fight that. Also, Chaos Frostfire Mage is gonna freeze me. Yeah. Bad things would happen if I went here, so... Could re roll and cry when you get something even worse? I am going to go here. I'm seeing that these levels seem to be very open, probably because otherwise these guys uh, that are not immobile would not be able to move around. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go here. And in my first turn, I'm gonna use um, Sitting Seal, and the second turn, we're gonna use Word of Chaos. Is there anything that I want to get before doing that? Mm. You think Pyrophilia could be good? Heals a lot. Prince of Ruin, maybe? Let's get Prince of Ruin. I hope that I am do not come to regret that. What is K? It's Chaos. Yeah, for some reason Chaos is no longer O. What is O? O is for Orb. Orb Lord. <laughs> yeah, Chaos. Chaos Familiar, Prince of Ruin. Chaos Casting. Uh, demonic Cruelty, to reveal half of all damage dealt to enemy units by demon allies as poison damage. Earth Rat, whenever you cast a nature or chaos spell, send out tremors along the ground from the target to nearby enemies. Each tremor deals 9 physical damage to the target and all units in its path. The base number of tremors is equal to the level of the spell. It can be modified by non target bonuses. This could be good for my World of Chaos spam. Tremors can target enemies up to 8 tiles away. You, you wonder if um, he is gonna make Jungle Like Corp Dragon Nature viable? I think so. Yeah. I think that, like, I saw some orbs, um, and they look a lot better than they used to be. Like, uh, the orb can cast Magic Missile, and gains any Magic Missile upgrades you possess. The orb has no will of its own, each turn it will float one tile towards the target. The orb can be destroyed by arcane damage. Cantrip has some sort of upgrade, of, or, of, uh, orb upgrade too, let's see. Sorcery, cantrip, orb cascade. In addition to casting in a cone, all of your orbs cast a random known cantrip on the nearest point line of sight. That sounds very good. Yeah, you can probably do some really funky um, orb cascade uh, stuff now. Yeah, well anyway, no use delaying the inevitable. At some point I'm gonna have to do this, so here we go. Seating seal. Okay, I took 4 damage from the Furnace Fiends, and then with Word of Chaos. 
Are you immune to being frozen, Mr. Jormun Garden? I'm next to a Reaper. Could be scary, but I think that I just do this and kill it. Whoa. Chaos Breath, 32 range, 13 damage. Oh, wow. Did you see? This guy just made some walls. Yeah, I don't know where else these walls came from. I think that this guy just made some walls. And I have to say that's pretty evil. This is insane. Yes, that would be correct. If I had known that this guy could make walls, maybe I uh, wouldn't have come here. Earthquake? Or? I still want to know if this guy is immune to, to being stunned. Maybe the five tile enemies are just immune to that. Bone thingy died that fast? Bone thingy. Oh yeah, because it was weak to holy and I hit it super hard. Um, Yeah, Flame Burst is, is really, really strong. Right now it deals 106 fire damage. Um, I have a Chaos Knight next to me. Did you make that with your Chaos Breath? I guess it, it did because it summoned a bunch of things that are like... Yeah, look at this thing. This thing was not here, right? Maybe it was. Electric Snake, Chaos Snake. Metallic two-headed snake. I am uh, probably going to blink over here. Took some damage. Uh, did I get stunned? Dark weakness. Seal of seating. Did I? Oh, the seal lasts nine turns. Hmm. Three thousand seven hundred sixty-four. Oh, it, it is not immune to getting stunned. You see that? It's right now stunned. Uh, it is super weak to physical. Boss gains immunity when it takes damage. Gains resistance. On taking damage, gains 10% resistance for that damage type to that damage type for one turn. Its physical resistance is getting worse. Yeah, I'm kidding it with the melting flame. I got poisoned. Gotta be careful. Keep getting poisoned. This thing is immune to fire. So of course I'm not killing it with flame burst. Is it me or this guy is breaking some walls? Mm. This is pretty exciting. With the whole thing that, like, this guy uh, being hard to kill, like, actually hard to kill. Um, yeah, there's a reason why this guy didn't die from uh, the thing that I did, right? I should recast Sitting Seal now. Okay. Okay, it is super nerfed on, on physical. Is there any new spell that deals a ton of physical damage? I checked uh, Metallic because I figured that they, that maybe would be the thing that deals the most physical, but I don't think that... Oh, there was this thing, right? Furnace of Sorcery. Uh, I kinda still wanna try that. Yeah, Silver Spills deals 27. It's probably not enough. Whoa, okay, yeah. The Scale's Breath is really reminiscent of the Mordred fight. Okay, uh, pretty much everything is a stun except for this guy. We're cool. Shrapnel Blast not enough. 
Shrapnel Blast is probably pretty good against that thing, actually. Uh, it's a uh, far metallic, right? Let's give it a try. Yeah, look at that. Each shard deals 62 physical damage. For who knows what reason. In fact, I know what reason. It is because of this. Shramnul's Blast dealt... How much? It dealt 2,333 damage. Jeez. Okay, so this guy is super burned, uh, like super hurt by by like the things that I've been doing. Uh, like he lost a lot of resistance to physical, and this already deals a lot of damage as well. So yeah, no wonder. Wow, this is this is this is insane. I think that if I cast it again, I just kill it. Okay, it's dead. And we still have to kill the rest of the level, because this is not Reef Wizard 1. So things are not over when you beat Mordred. I guess that was not Mordred, but you know what I mean. Um, Exotic Pets, Thrall-Blooded Nightmare Turtle, Pay Annihilation Goo. Who knows what that is? Or a Thrall-Blooded Storm Fiend. I'm gonna grab the Goo because... I wanna see what, that, what this is. It has 775 HP and 5 shields. Jeez. Okay, the goo is running around doing its thing. Doesn't seem high impact, but it does have an aura of damage, it blinks. Yeah. Gains a shield every five turns, so it's just a huge tank, it, I see. I think that the boss was making some experience for me to pick up. So many troll blooded phoenixes. Um, killing those is gonna be hard. Yeah. The more I, the more I'm playing of this, uh, the more I feel like you do need to dip into multiple spell schools in order to to do like to to fight well in this game, pretty much. Because like I'm only fire, and fire is not doing anything versus these guys. Yeah, next time I play this, I sh I'm going to try um, Cantrip Cascade. Poison and Combust. So many things are immune to fire. Um I'm gonna blink to the corner for safety. I don't wanna accidentally hit myself with a fireball. It's not doing a lot. Yeah, these these things have a thousand HP. Uh they're weak to dark. So maybe I you go on an epic journey grabbing experience in the level. Like the level right now has six experience on the floor. 
uh, six experience. With that, I can get for dark. I can get hate bolts. Maybe it is time to finally get hate bolts. And they reincarnate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's so bad. Get magnets on the shrapnel to kill the phoenixes. Maybe. Um, I do need to to think of a good uh, spell that uh, gets rid of the phoenixes. They they have so much HP. It's kind of wild. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking. Um, I was thinking Soltax. In region, unless they take fire damage and they're immune to fire damage. Yeah, uh, they are troll blooded phoenixes. Um, they only regen 5, so it's not so terrible. But yeah, these things have way too much HP uh, for me to be able to deal with them easily. Turbo tax upgrades. Quick cast. Casting soul tax does not end your turn. Wow! Mass taxation. Targets a connected group of enemies. I do think that the heals could be pretty useful for surviving this uh, whole mess. If I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna go on an epic journey of picking up experience, I probably should stop watch, because I don't want these guys to uh, to kill me while I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the stopwatch here. Okay, so now that I have seven experience, um, it's not really experience, it's like um, memories or whatever. Um, but it is pretty much experience, you know what I mean. Soul wins, 37 dark damage, all in the dark and demon units, take 37 holy, uh, HP cost 54, okay, we cannot use that. Yeah, I was reading it. It's like chill wins, but uh, it costs 54 HP. Ha! Huh. Living units in the area have their souls ripped from their body and spawn spirits. The spirits may have extra abilities and resistances based on the attacks of the units they originate from. Cool. Spawn goes from non-living units as well. Also deals arcane damage to all units in any area of effect. So wind also casts behind the target or behind the caster. Um, those dual wind uh, effects look pretty cool. I have no idea how to kill them, um, because here's the thing, Soul Tax only has four, four charges, uh, and there's way more than four phoenixes in the level, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You can change soul tax, but it would be too expensive. Max taxation we cannot afford. I have four mana potions. Oh, wait. 
Wait, I'm glad that I thought of it. Okay. Essence blocks. So I have the polarity of the resistances of all other units in a fortile area. Our resistance is swapped with ice, so that means that those guys are gonna be not fire resistant. And that's all that care that's all that matters. I think we get this. Yeah, and that's how we beat these guys. Sweet, look at that. Doesn't last forever, but it, it probably lasts for long enough for me to, to beat them. I want to hit them all. Aha, now you're weak or strong to ice, weak to... or weak to holy. Yeah, weak to holy! <laughs> oh man, this is so exciting. Uh-huh. They're dying, all right. Uh, okay, when it revives, it still has the weakness. Is that permanent? I think it is permanent. Wow, okay, big deal. That's a huge deal. I'm glad that I thought of that. That is how we survive this. That's how we win this. I'm at 8 HP. Let's heal. Gonna make Mordred weak to Holy too? Yeah, for a second I almost died there. I'm glad that I didn't. I wish I had blink charges. This is why I don't like having so much, uh, so much radius on on fireball because it makes it awkward to target. Immolate pretty good here. Yes, yeah, I think so. Uh, this would be one of those situations where Immolate would be pretty good. You, you are correct. Uh, oh, taking a lot of damage from these guys, from these guys and their uh, fiery explosions. That guy is uh, pretty dead, right? I wish I could see how much damage he's gonna take from Immolate. I am taking so much damage. The radius and fireball is killing me. Why does it have so much radius? Where did it even get all of that radius from? Shrapnel? Nah, shrapnel worked very well versus the boss because the boss was taking up the vast majority of the area of effect of shrapnel. Like, I was casting it like this and it was hitting pretty much. Like, yeah, you 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 remember. Uh huh. Shrapnel is random. You don't know when where they're gonna hit. Ah, uh, this one is not affected by essence flux. I can't believe that it's permanent. That is insanely good. Disintegration? Disintegrator dealt 39 in a single turn? No idea why. No idea why, uh, but I'm not gonna complain. How, how exactly does this thing work? Sorcery spells you cast. Uh, spells, so no, no skills.
This level was quite dangerous. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I think it it was the end, but it it's not the end. Like there's still one more, at the very least. There's only one gate here, so it might it might be like round 21 or something. Uh, I think that we mana potion here because I'm about to to get into the range where these things can deal damage to me. So we blink away from them. Also, I ran out of fireballs. I think it's pretty funny that um, that I am in a situation where I where I strongly considered getting um, soul tax, um, which is a far a dark spell. Um, that is not something that happens very often in Rip Wizard One. We're almost done. There's only one guy left. I have no idea how the fireball deals so much damage, but it, it does deal that much damage. Uh, yeah, Troll Blood Phoenix took 132 physical damage from the Wizard's Fireball. Yeah, 64. 45 Holy from Fighty Judgment, yeah. 30 from Starfire. Okay, should die soon. Aha. That was close, and I it did force me to use some, some potions. I already grabbed everything. Okay, there is Mordred. <laughs> so this level is kind of like a, like a taxing. Oh, it's the same! Are you joking? It's the same? It might be the same, but like... Okay, so here's the thing, here's the thing, Mordred can be the same, but the nature of the fight is wildly different because of the things that we have gone through. Uh, so like the, the enemies and like the big enemies, um, the modifiers that the enemies have, like all of that is going to make the fight very different. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, it's the same, it's literally the same. I don't expect this to be the same by the time this game like comes out of early access, but for now it is exactly the same. It has equipment! Lots of new spells, adjustments to new spells. Do we have some new webs? We have some new webs. How is this one different from the first game? It is wildly different. You should have seen. I fought a 5x5 five five enemy. Like, it was literally this big. Uh, I fought it. It had 3,666 3, HP. And it, every time it took damage, it gained 10% uh, resistance to that damage type until the end of the next turn. Um, yeah, multi-tile enemies. Uh, lots of new spells. Um, equipment. Oh, you, you were answering that. I was like, did Mordred have equipment? But fortunately, it's not the case. Um... Okay, I guess here it goes. I hope that I do not die to Mordred. Um, oh! The Time Striders that I have, all enemies are gonna be stunned for one turn. That will trigger Mordred's clarity uh, for one turn. That kinda sucks. Okay. Eh? I like it. Yeah, I think it's literally the exact same <laughs> uh, for now. I don't think that it's gonna stay like that. Uh... Whoa. 
Whoa, did you see that? I think it tried to place a high level guy, uh, and and the high level guy just couldn't fit on the level. Might as well since Flux Mordot, so I can... Yeah, so Mordot takes holy damage, I, I understand. Uh, you are not vulnerable to World of Chaos, so I'm just gonna do that. Oculus time? Maybe. I like this remix for Mordred. It's pretty cool. What does the equipment do? Oh, it does a, it does a lot. Like, it depends on what you have. Um, like, it all has different effects. Um, as you can see, I have some exotic pets and they summon some stuff. Like, for example... Where is the guy? Did he already die? No, here it is. Fey Annihilation Goo. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of those in, in the level. Um, I also have an Immortal Troll that revives a couple of times, and I got this guy very early in the game. And also Chaos Lar Worm Ball. I think I got this in ROM too. Um, yeah, kinda strong. There aren't magic circles anymore. Give him 50% holy resistance. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. How you get it? You get it from the floor. Like, uh, instead of getting shrines, you find chests with equipment that you can, that you can like, get one of. There weren't shrines either. Yeah, no shrines, no circles. Instead of shrines, you get equipment. Instead of circles, you get scrolls that give you one out of four random spells for free, like, or skills. You literally get to choose one of, of those. Um, I see Lamasu. Wow, evil. You won't miss shrines, you think? Yeah, no more shrines, no more magic circles. But to compensate for that, uh, some uh, stuff that shrines had, it got turned into skills. For example, Disintegrator. So now you can always get Disintegrator if you want to. Uh, for every 40 damage dealt by sorcery spells you cast, deal one physical damage to all enemy units. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is a uh, Oculus moment. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, calm down, dude. That's so messed up. I'll never um, get used to that kind of thing happening. It really is super messed up. Do you stun? You do deal a ton of damage, and we are not um, tanky enough to take that much damage. I don't know where I'm getting these friendly imps from. I got rid of the thing that uh, plays the friendly imps. Worm balls? Oh, the worm balls die and they split into imps. Yeah, that's so weird. That's a pretty bad level. You know what? Um, it might be time for me to get Melting Flame. <laughs> Are you gonna swap me? Not yet. But this does look extremely bad. Um, I think that we Word of Chaos here. Um, another thing that's different between this game and Reef Wizard 1 
is that uh, mm, you get full heals and full mana every time you enter a new level. Um, but healing potions and mana potions are really rare consumables now. Earthquake Corp? Yes, that's definitely the moment to use Earthquake Corp. Where is Mordred? Okay. Play Fae Queen. Treasure chest, that's new. Yeah, this is how you get loot. Uh, here we have some trinkets. They, like all of them, give one radius. Um, all of these discs. They give one radius to certain skills. Dark, Ice, Enchantment, Sorcery, which is the one that I would be interested in picking up. And gold and uh, holy, and I don't think I have a um, a trinket. I don't think I'm carrying a trinket. Oh no, I do have a trinket, but it is a trinket that doesn't do anything for me. So I could grab the sorcery one. Yeah, you can only pick one of the five, but you get to choose. There's an ether dagger. Uh, I don't think I need the ether dagger. I think we're fine. Like it's not a matter of I cannot punch through Mordred. Um, I think that I can just as flux him again if I really want to get rid of the holy resistance. Okay, Mordred has clarity, so we cannot really um, do that again. You know what? Maybe I should emulate Mordred. Oh, oh, oh. It's always so scary when Mordred moves around like that. Um... Seal? Yeah, maybe. Ah, it's letting me grab another trinket. Maybe, maybe it is because those are such low impact. Ouch. Oh, for a second I thought I was done, but not yet. Wow, that's a messed up monster generation. Hey, look at that, a portal key. Create three new portals at random locations in the current level. Fate Towering Bone Shambler with 527 HP. No, 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 we don't turn Quake Corp, we use this. Yeah, that seemed pretty good to me, let's do it again. Okay, we're kind of killing Mordred, that's the last life, are we gonna be done after this? I think so, because there's no more gates. Wow, that was intense. The Dark Wizard this is slain. His beasts have been broken and made tame. The beauty of Avalon will be built again. Your soul is permitted to sleep and dream once more. And you know what? That's a good thing because uh, it's about midnight here. 20 plus boss level. First time beating this one. Yes. Uh, this is the first time 
that I played this one. So once again, I beat Reef Wizard 2 in my first attempt, just like I did with the first one. I'm so excited. Uh, this game has so much. I uh, said that I was gonna read this game after I was done streaming, but I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. I'm not particularly sleepy, but I know that if I stick around and, and read stuff, I'm not gonna sleep, like, at all, and then that's gonna have some consequences. So I would rather just go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, and, and like, read some spells. Like, maybe we do a stream where we only read some spells. <laughs> um, but I say, what I'm saying is that Flame Burst is still busted. I would say that it is significantly less busted. Um, thank you for stopping by, everyone. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, because of the nature of the reveals, uh, fire, as fire, the way that I built it is significantly less more less powerful. In essence, flux was a necessity. Uh, but I do have to say that if it was not for essence flux, I wouldn't have won the game. Um, essence flux was um, was the run saver versus the versus the phoenixes. Hmm. I think I deserve this. Um, this gummy of a worm um, that I have right here as a reward. First big guy that I saw. Um, there no, there's no more small idols. Now the idols are pretty big and you can immediately spot them, which I liked a lot. He's level with two I with two big guys and I pretty much killed them in like immediately, right? Like took me five turns to beat that level. Amazing, right? Hmm. This level was so scary. Despite that I didn't take that much damage, but I was so scared of the level, I felt like I was gonna immediately explode. So I had to use a stopwatch, because I didn't want to go from 100 to 0. Yeah. You know what's the most powerful thing about fire? Since the explosions target a bunch of tiles, the 3x3 enemies just get absolutely destroyed. Hmm, the before and after. This level was really scary as well. I took so much damage. This all was so easy. Um, well, apart from the fiends, like, these guys die so easily. And then the fiends took uh, a while for- no, wow, only 24 turns? It really felt like, like a lot more than that. And then this is the five tile guy, uh, that I fought, er that I fought earlier. Um, Bill has had a lot of fiends. A lot of uh, troll phoenixes. Yeah, the before and after. Damage to wizard 174 troll blooded phoenix. Funny thing, the big guy, Jormungad, only dealt 26. The breath uh, weapon appeared to be more intimidating than what it ended up being, but it was shaping up the level, like, it was making new tiles and stuff, um... That was great. Then we had this border level with Reapers at the end. I could have re-rolled, but... I felt like it was fine, and it was, it was fine at the end. Um... So, with this run... I feel like I've only scratched the surface of what the game has to offer. So many more monsters for the bestiary to fill. Ah, also, because of monster modifiers, now the bestiary is a lot easier to complete, because the monster modifiers don't really appear here. Only the base monster, which is, for example, the two-headed snake. I didn't find any of these, but I did find two-headed snake liches, I think I found. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was really funny, like, uh, 
the Void Bomber Lich. Do you remember the Void Bomber Lich that I saw at the start? That was hilarious. I didn't go into that level because I was so freaked out by the existence of the Void Bomber Liches. But yeah, that's great. Um, this game will have so much. So much. Um, that was a great experience. Once again, thank you Dylan for providing me with the ability to uh, play this a bit earlier. I hope that you all enjoyed the journey. I'm probably going to play some more of this at some point in the near future before the actual release. I don't want to just grind it to oblivion before it actually releases, but I do want to at least play it one more, one more time. I'm going to uh, experiment a lot more in the future uh, too. Uh, but yeah, for now, that will be it. Um, that was great. I had such a good time with it. Um, it is not all that I hoped for, but it is definitely pretty great regardless. And the things that I uh, would like to see are um, just quality of life stuff. Like in terms of gameplay, the only change that's a bit um, conflicting to me is the the reveal thing but it may be related to the fact that i played a far build of course those are probably the most affected by the changes to reveals um but yeah uh, that was fun that was fun I, I had a good time and i look forward to playing some more in the near future as i already said thank you for everything see you around have a nice rest of your night everyone